No, you're not in the video. Relax. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you hear that noise? Do you know what that is? That's the exhaust fan. Nobody will be getting nice off hairspray anymore up in this piece. <laughs> um, it is August. What's the date? 23rd. 23rd. It's uh, 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, close that off. Come on, Tristan. Come on, everybody. Come on. Let's buggy. Um, I hope I look rested. I am. I don't want to be here right now because it's Friday. And because I know that um, Friday traffic going back to Jersey from Manhattan is ridiculous. But I am out of here by 2 o'clock. I'm working on a little piece of... Remember I was telling you that uh, Wendy Williams going to Chicago, how you doing Broadway, is uh, done through Wendy Williams production. And we've uh, that, that project will air on the TV Guide Network. It's not reality. It's a docu. <laughs> one off <laughs> um, but um, I have to do some confessionals that's when you know the reality people when they're doing their business but then when they come and they talk to the camera they say I can't believe Teresa and Joe have been lying all along with that stack of money and now here they go say <laughs> this is this is, so they want me to do some confessionals oh Broadway is so hard Dancing and singing and acting and stuff. Getting home late. Ooh. I'm happy to be here. Can I show you something that I hate? Achilles heel? Look. Oh. Observe my knuckles at the same time. Oh, okay. And while you're there, observe my nails. Okay. Cheryl Burke press-ons. Okay. So Cheryl Burke comes to the show. I hate the white. I hate I hate this. I wish I wasn't seeing this. Is it supposed to be white or are they just patching? No, they're patching oh, something. Okay. There were no holes in the wall, but they had to make a whole For new... For the uh, fan. Yeah, so they made a whole new fixture. Gotcha. See, this fixture was not here. Okay. I love that. You remember I was talking to you about aerosol and I hate it. But if you think this room looks bad, wait until I take you out to the Wendy stage. <laughs> Honey, I don't know how we're going to be ready by September 16th. We got it. I hope so. Because guess what? The show must go on. You have to understand. All I need is one camera and a microphone. Mm -hmm. And we will do a show. Now, even though we're fancy out there, you can see me and Tristan can rock this right here. <laughs> <laughs> We're not ready out there, but me and Tristan got this in here. Um, um, okay, so first of all, uh, my friend is in town. She's in the other room, um, Regina, and her son is here. And we'll sweep past, but we're not going to like talk and get involved um, because this is about me and you. Glam Squad's not here. I have a tan. We had such a good vacation. Tristan. People spotted you. Huh? People knew you were there. Why? I saw on Facebook. People were mess messaging and Twitter. They knew you. They, they saw you. <laughs> what did they say? Just say that they, they saw that you were in town. They were there. They wish they saw. They, they, they heard that you were in town. Did they, they say anything outstanding? No, 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 no. Okay. Just so that, like, the island was talking that you were there. Okay. So, but they didn't see me then with the zoom lens. Mm mm. Because. Only offshore on the yacht <laughs> did I have my bikini. Honey, my bikini is the, not as bright as my nails, but not as dark as this. I, we were doing it. Good time? Like, oh, we did. Good. And I know you guys had a good time, too. I missed you, Tristan. Nice Ro? You. Hi, Ro. Hi. I even missed her. You look beautiful. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Head to toe, Roverness. <laughs> Overness. <laughs> Robert, I like your look. Thank you. All right, remember, it's Sammy and Regina. Okay, the French toast are being delivered. Don't let my food touch everyone else's. Okay. And, and look, and Kevin, Kevin's got the pancakes and bacon. Don't let it touch. Okay. I'm a germaphobe. I've got a problem. I know, I know. Do you know when you go out to eat at the diner and the ketchup, you want to use it, and you go like this? Well, this is what you do, and you, your fingers touch everyone else's germs. I always take a napkin. Do you do that too? Yeah, and I, I don't open doors. I 
fist. Tristan, it's so nasty. And yeah. with the Cheryl Burke press-ons, you're not supposed to wet your hands a whole lot. Cheryl, how do I take these off? I mean, these these have been so good. I love... You know what? There's something... I haven't tried a press-on nail literally since the 70s, honey, with the Lee press-on nails, but these are good. However, I forgot why I'm not such a huge fan. I can't judge my hair without the cuticle part of the press-on getting caught in the hair. So, after I do my uh, confessional with my uh, special, I'm going to take these off later on today. You've been asking for her. And you are so right. Shakitha girl. Did I tell you I have a wig line? Okay, so once you replace your eyelashes, I don't know what kind of fight you've been in, who's been messing with you, maybe the men aren't doing you right. I mean, okay, get yourself together, and then um, I've got hair for days for you. I missed her. Okay, come on. Wait, let me just, let me see what's going on. Look who's on TV! I miss her, but I need new shows. <laughs> Look. Smile for the camera. You don't get one shot. Come on. <laughs> I hope you're having a good summer. All I needed was that little spit in Bermuda, and it was beautiful. We choose our vacations based on how we can tolerate an airport and a flight. <laughs> like, literally, okay, because we were away during the kid's birthday, August uh, 18th. So we say to him, all right, pick a place on the map. Where do you want to go? A safari in Africa, you know, San Troy. Like, where do you want to go? But he's now 13, August 18th. So he's a jerk. So all, they're like, eh, with the buds in their ear and on the blogger. Eh, I don't care. So I said, okay, he doesn't care. So let's choose it based on how long we feel like spending time in a germy airplane, okay? <laughs> He doesn't have an opinion. So me and him say, well, we both called it under three hours. Where can we go? And I'm not going to Miami. So we chose Bermuda. Never been there. I have family from Bermuda. I'm Bermudian. Doom, 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 doom. Family name over there is Simmons. Um, it was cute. We were there for seven days, dipping and diving and doing it. I used SPF 50. I no longer want to mess with my face with all that sun. Can you believe this mess we're in? What do you make of this mess? Tristan, this is probably all video wall, right? Yep. Can you believe, those are the, my friend Regina, because this is her first time being here, you know, she's from L.A. We've had a whirlwind time. I mean, you know, we didn't spend a lot of time in there. But when we came in here, she said, okay, where are the double doors? I said, right there. She said, where do you put the Hot Topics chair? And I go to her, <laughs> right here. The guys know how to frame it out, frame it out, you know, right here, Hot Topics chair. So the run is not really that big. And right now, it's a mess. Look, they're cleaning the carpet for our co-host. Can I talk to you about something real quick? There are a couple of things that have been really bothering me. Um, not big issues, but you know what? Alex Rodriguez is a lot of things. He didn't need to be hit with that ball. And I thought uh, Joe Girardi, is that his name? Mm -hmm. The manager? Yep. He's very handsome to me. Okay. After looking at him, I know he didn't want to stick up necessarily for Rodriguez, and people are assuming that Rod Rodriguez is guilty as I don't know what, but nobody deserves to have a ball beamed at them. That was messed up. I'm not a sports nista. I'm a mom. Tristan, what do you say with that? I was out of town, I think, when that happened. So you know nothing. You're the first time, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. You know you? nothing. It's, it's <laughs> dead um, as of last week. I mean, everybody was fined. Rodriguez is still in a sling. And Girardi had to pay a $5,000 fine for cursing at the umpire for beaning his player. I think the pitcher did it purposely. Number one. Number two. Chloe and Lamar. 
the streets are still talking. Number three, Jennifer Lopez, American Idol, hope not. Sorry, she left on top. The show was probably on a near last leg at that time. And for her to go back, first of all, there's no guarantee that she's the great, what they say, the great white hope, you know, uh, to save the show. I just think it's kind of desperate, a little whack. I don't like that, but I like Jennifer. Um, and what else? I think that's it. We were in Bermuda during Lindsay on Oprah. How was that? Like, people aren't really talking. Oh. Boring. Boring. I saw a thumbs down over your shoulder, too. Really? Um, here's the thing. Our hotel had limited channels, but guess what they did play? Ooh, ooh, how you doing? <laughs> you know what? They play it at 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, they are one hour ahead of the States, and it comes out of Miami at 10 a.m., so 11 a.m., and I didn't know whether the show played there or not. I don't really check those, those kinds of things when I go on vacation. I just leave it up to, you know, the gods. And I say, well, it'd be great maybe if it didn't, because then we can go someplace and it could be like on the down low. Um, and uh, our plane landed the first day at like three o'clock in the afternoon. So we went right out to the beach and, you know, we felt cool. And the second day was still a weekday. And we went to the beach at 1130. But when I turned on the TV at 11 o'clock as I'm, putting on my hot pink bikini with a little <laughs> tiny triangle bra and a low waist. None of that high waist stuff. Old Miss Wendy is doing it. Big stupid wig and a little tiny bikini. I'm putting myself together and all of a sudden I hear, it's time! I'm like, oh my gosh! <laughs> we're, in, we're in Bermuda, which is sweet. But okay. Okay, so there's no down low. I still can't believe I have a show. So <laughs> I'm still the grateful girl. Um, anyway, I gained about five pounds. Uh, so I'm in the process of losing that. I'm back in the gym and the whole bit. Um, with the jury duty and then the LA trip next week and then the week after that, we go out on the road and promote the show. And the offices are kind of open today. Tristan's here, you're back. Yep. Joe Ballin's here. Yep, Patrick, Ray. Patrick. Really? Mm hmm. Oh. David. Um, Perler's here? Yep, Perler's here. Jason, Suzanne. You know, it's been weird about this summer, uh, Tristan. Ironically, I don't feel so separated from you guys and my, my staff. I, I feel like we've been touching base, kind of, sort of. It's kind of sweet. Yeah? Anyway, look, I'm hungry. I'm wondering where my crew is. I'm not playing. I'm leaving. I will walk out on my own project. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I mean, I already reviewed what we have, and I showed it to my parents. I did a private screening at home, you know, for the TV Guide thing. Uh, Wendy goes to Broadway. How you doing? Am I on it? I don't... Did I make the cut? I don't recall. <laughs> uh... uh Inflated head. <laughs> Look at Tristan. He wants to be on that. But give me the camera. Let me show them. You. Nope. Nope. Not having it. Let me show them. <laughs> um, my parents, they laughed. They cried. They wanted more. After one hour, they were like, well, where's more? I don't see where we need to add more. And this is the problem sometimes with being uh, an executive producer and having a production company, but also being the talent. Talent is like, you know, you have a different eye when you're talent. And it's not the eye that sometimes you need to have, which is why I'm glad I have a good team with business hats. They said, no, 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 we need more. So I'm here under duress. I'm going to complain to somebody. Oh, I forget. I would be that somebody. <laughs> Why do we have to be here? I don't know. <laughs> You're the one who wants a good show. I'm going home. You're not going anywhere, okay? Because when it finally plays on the TV Guide Network, you're gonna be happy that you were here doing this. You better watch what you ask for. Who are you talking to like that? <laughs> I'm talking to you. 
Come on, let's go. You know what time it is. It's I love you for watching. See you next time. Time. Bye. Oh my gosh. I was just watching Dr. Oz and taking off my makeup for the day. I missed you too. But you know what? I've been very busy recently, right after the show. I, I, you know, I've been very busy and here's my thought regarding these after shows. If I can't talk to you for a reasonable amount of time and if I don't have something to say, then why should Tristan even turn on the camera for you know a two minute conversation to say, I'm in a rush, you know, um, I've got this to do or that to do. So I have time to luxuriate for a moment with you and then I'm going back to Jersey. I originally hated my outfit today um, because I didn't know how the Navajo stripey thing was gonna work on camera. But everybody seemed to like it. Like everybody in the audience was like, oh my gosh. Even my executive producer, David Perler, you know, and he's like a guy's guy. He's not really, you know, thinking about, you know, what's a nice dress and stuff. Even David said it was nice. BCBG. Again, I don't know how it played on camera, um, but that's what tomorrow's for, you know? Tomorrow will be more snatched. For today, that was a comfortable dress, and I paired it with um, Memsor, um, got me some um, suede Manolos, very comfortable. And wig, did a great job with this wig. Look at all the different colors in it. I mean, what I enjoy about what he did, you know I always tell you this, you can't just take a wig out of the box and put it on. All of these delicious colors, um, he did this. It, this wig was a lighter brown. As a matter of fact, it was ombre, it was, it was um, black up here and blonde down here. And he worked on it. This is one from my collection, Wendy Williams Hair World. This one's one of mine too. You know how I obsess over weekend hairdressing. So it's like the best to be able to cut wigs the wrong way, screw up the dye, throw it on the side, get a fresh one out of the box and start over again. <laughs> I like being a wig czar. Um, so I've been busy uh, with that. And I've also, you know, honestly, um, been very, very busy trying to put the final touches on my book, which, you know, I talked about a bit on the show today. It's my seventh book. This one's a novel. It requires more ma imagination and creativity than ever. You know, I want to get the sex scenes right. I want to, um, you know, I just want it to be right. And I'm not going to lie to you. I am working with a writing partner. I always have. I'm, I'm way too, too busy to sit and, you know, sit and, and write a book. And then, you know, your deadlines come up quickly. You know, this is my second book with Harper Collins, you know, um, and they dictate the deadlines of the book. And, you know, if I don't, if I can't, rise to the occasion, then I shouldn't have taken the deal. Do you, do you understand what I mean? And I try to be, um, you know, as fastidious as possible when it comes to business relations. So all through the summer I was working on this book and um, the deadline for when it's due is like in two weeks. And I just don't have a title for the book. So this is where I need your help. So if you go to wendyshow.com, um, it's an untitled book. That's not going to be the cover. That's just something. Kim Kind is my uh, is my main character, though. And when you meet this guy King that turns her out, and when you discover Kim Kim Kind's problems, well, you know I have an imagination, <laughs> you know. So, so I, I we and I hope the sex scenes are sexy enough. You know, hair pulling. And I know what you like. <laughs> So, meanwhile, back in Jersey, oh my God. All right, so my parents are gone, but they'll be back up here on the 11th. <laughs> they left like a week ago. Um, and that was the last time you and I got together. Remember that after show with the coat? <laughs> okay, so we ended up going to Michael's and um, who was there? Al Roker, his wife, 
was at another table. Al didn't even realize that his wife was going to be there. Um, Nikki Haskell, do you remember her from the 70s, Star Cap Diet? Oh, I was just a little, you remember Tristan? Mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I was just a little girl, but I remember like Star Cap Diet, that was the diet that all the celebrities were on. And she ran in the circles of Liz Taylor and Richard Simmons and Jose E. Beer and, and Merv Griffin and you know, Nikki Haskell, Star Cap Diet. So she was in there. Um, she looked good too. Uh, who else was in there? Oh, Star Jones. Um, oh, gee. I can't think. Anyway, but that was a nice day. So my parents are gone, but they're coming back on the 11th. And what's been going on at the front in New Jersey is that we are just a matter of moments away from the celebration of our son's 13th birthday. Well, honey, I am drained. I am drained. Like my husband and I really, He's just a lucky kid. He's a good boy, but I will crack his skull. And and if he disappoints after this party, you know, we live in a town in New Jersey where you might be able to identify with this, where um, all the kids get bar mitzvah and bat mitzvahs. Like the majority of the kids, like 95% of the town is, um, is of the Jewish faith. So consequently, you know, my son is seeing everybody, like last year he was in seventh grade and he's going to all these great parties um, where the parents are just, I mean, like he went to one on Friday night, uh, it was in the city and they, they took the buses from, you know, how they all meet, you meet at a school in your town and all the kids get on the buses and I'm sitting, I've told you this before, low in the seat, just watching everybody, girls with five inch heels and a lot of hairspray and boys smelling of cheap cologne. Boys are so doofy and goofy though. These girls are like grown, they're grown. Anyway, we're in the process of planning Kevin's party. Um, he deserves it. We've never had a big wedding um, for, you know, I'm not the big wedding type or anything like that, but this kid wanted a, a, a party. And so the way my husband and I rationalized it is that we're not gonna be giving him a 16 year old, a 16 birthday party, cause that super 16 mess is way over my head. At that point, the kids are too dicey. Some of them are on drugs, even more. Um, and a lot of them are having sex at that point. It's just too much of a liability, do you know what I mean? So we will not be having a 16 year old birthday party for him and we will not be having a, um, a high school graduation party because you know, my thought with high school graduation parties is, you know, if, if, if your grades are good enough, then why would you want a stupid party when we can maybe get you a car? You know, plus we're paying for your tuition, you know? So now you're not gonna give you a party. Besides, at that point, the kids are up to no good too. I can't stand the liability and I, kids are basically evil. I mean, not evil, but <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Your kid, my kid, they're all sneaky and they all need to be watched. And I just don't have that many eyes in the back of my head. So 13 is it, 13, that's the big hurrah. So. You know, his birthday was in August. We didn't have the party at that particular time because as you know, if you are, if you are a summertime birthday celebrator like I am, you know, in July, um, then you know everybody's away during the summer months. So nobody is around to go to your birthday party. Everybody's away. Uh, we didn't have it in September because September was a big um, month of religion in the Jewish community as usual. And so we didn't want to interrupt any of the weekends with having it in in um, September. So instead, we're gonna have it in October. And um, we basically gave him an open guest list, you know? So now the party is, we're only a minute away from the party. The party's hot as fish grease. And we really do have to keep Kevin, he's handling it pretty well and everything. Um, but it's funny to, cause I wasn't a popular kid. So I don't, I don't know what that's like, you know, to have the phone ring in and people wanting to come to a party and all that other, I mean, I never had parties when I was younger because I was scared if I did, nobody would show up, you know? Um, but it's, it's odd to be the parent of a popular kid. He, you know, he's fairly popular um, because I'm not used to it. <sighs> the things that are going on, the people who aren't invited and, and people who are trying to get in even though they know they weren't invited, the things I get asked of me when I'm in the middle of the grocery store. 
so your son, I know he's having this party, but my daughter hasn't gotten the invite. You know they were in fourth grade together, don't you? And they worked on the project on the Navajo Indians. And I'll say, yes. Yeah, well, her name is so-and-so, so-and-so. And, um, you know, let me give you our email address. And then I get home and I say, Kevin, you know, did you invite so-and-so and so-and-so? He'll be like, no, mommy. I, she's not my friend or he's not my friend. And he'll go into the reasons why. And I'm just like, wow. Wow. So that's what it's like. So it's going to be like 400 kids. I'm leaving, James. How are you? <laughs> Bye, fellas. Um... Yeah, so it's it's weird. It's we, it's a weird uh, time in our house. But I tell you what, I get everything I want done because I hold the party over his head. Take out the garbage, or there be no party. <laughs> so it's um, only like twelve twenty right now. I made today's dinner yesterday. I barbecued chicken. And I put it in the Tupperware right away, so they, they didn't have that yesterday, but I just made it, I, you know, ahead of time. And I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna go to the gym, and, you know, move around, do some exercise. I ate like a cow when I was with Trisha this weekend. Oh my gosh. And it was, you know what, and it was really nice too. Um, the husbands weren't there. I went, I went with, it was me. And Morel came, my makeup artist, and, and two other people, but it wasn't the husbands. And, um, and then she was there, and what I like about her, like, we're both the same age. We're both 49, gonna be 50. Um, we both struggle with our weight, um, so, and we're both like the same height, so she's like a sister from another mister. I really do like Trisha. Um, just a real down to earth woman. And she definitely and I have made a connection. Already texting back and forth to one another. So I can't wait till she comes to New York because she comes here, she says she comes here often and she doesn't know anybody here. And she, like me, does not want to go out with a bunch of fanfare. Like if I say to her, come on, Trisha, you know, let's go out to, you know, for lunch. It doesn't have to be the assistants and the husbands and all that crap. Like we could literally, just the two of us go and do something. Just real regular, the way I like it. Slammed his brakes on. Hi, thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, so look, I'm glad we're back together. See you tomorrow. Bye. I'm not. Is that what people are saying? I sense people were. The girl in accessories. Hi. Oh my gosh. I'm multitasking. I'm watching the new. I have an audition. I have an audition today. Like a real actress. <laughs> Could be a recurring character. I don't want to talk any more about it. All I know is that the audition's at two o'clock and I'm waiting for a chicken Caesar salad to come. Oh, here it is. Come on in. Because I was about to eat candy. Look at all this candy. Mmm. Oh, thank you. Why did they change their packaging? I didn't read the whole thing, but I guess people were complaining about something, which says, ta-da, free packaging. Nah, I don't know what to eat first. Hey, Ro. Mm -hmm. You know what? Can you just put this over there in front of that, um, next that wig head? The cat is out of the bag, Ro. They know who you are now. If you don't know by now, you'll know tonight at 8 o'clock. You will Yes. The cat is out of the bag. The cat is out of the bag. I can't wait until tonight at eight o'clock. My TV um, special on TVGN. I hope you like it. It's the first big project from Wendy Williams Productions. I'm producing and starring. That's big. In a doc, you um, one off. I think I'm going to make um, fried chicken wings for dinner, fried hard. 
Kevin and Kevin, we all love fried chicken wings. Doesn't everybody? Maybe mashed potatoes and spinach. And then we won't eat until 8 o'clock when the show comes on. Wait until you see the Poom Poom shorts now. <laughs> I'm not going to say who's wearing the Poom Poom shorts because it could very well be me or somebody else. But when you see them, you'll know it and just, it's a very large, very large thighs and um, they're red. <laughs> I had fun today. Tristan Wild boy. I gotta tell you, who knew? I had, I had that song on it that he did. I'd heard that song easily a month or more ago. DJ Booth plays it here at the show behind the scenes, you know, like when we go into commercial breaks and he plays modern music. He plays it here. I've heard it on the radio. Um, I've heard it in the club. And I had no idea that it was this kid, Tristan Wilde. So remember last week I told you that I had to go to a mom's event for Nick Moms, Nickelodeon? Tristan was there. He wasn't performing. He was there because he's cool with Shirley Ralph's son. And Shirley Ralph was there also. She was one of the moms on the Anyway, long story short, when Tristan was there, it was just like three days before I went to that event that uh, I'm in the car with, with my husband and he says, you know who this is? I said, no. He said, um, you know, because I'm snapping my neck and doing my little chair dance. And he said, this is the kid from 90210, Tristan Wilde. I said, really? So it just so happens that he was at this event. And I said to him, kid, you know, I, I had no idea. I said, can you come on the show and, you know, do, do, the, do the, um, the thing? So here he is and he did it. Yeah, it's really good. And I like Big Ange and her daughter. Um, I happened upon that show uh, and I'm stuck on it now. It's very entertaining. Very entertaining. And I like my outfit today. Wow, very much the blue dress. We're so busy at our house planning this birthday party for my son, though, I have to tell you. And he knows absolutely nothing about the party. Um, I mean, he knows the party's happening, but he does not know what's in store. He does not know. Um, I mean, we did a tasting of, of donuts and things like He's not a cake person, although we do have a cake. And he, he did have final approval on the cake, you know. Um, giant cake. But he's more of a donut person. But cakes are festive, so you have to have a cake. So we have a cake, but donuts. We've got these really great donuts. Not just any donuts, like really good donuts. So we've had food testing, donut testing, and um, that. And all he knows is that the party's in the city outside of that. He, he doesn't know any of the details, so I'm really excited. I hope he cries. You know, it, it's, always, it's always good when somebody cries. Good tears. And um, we gave him an open guest list. Invite who you want. So he invited a few hundred kids. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm happy for him. My, my thought on a 13th birthday party is, we'll give you one at 13. Did I tell you this already? I did. I did. Yesterday. I, oh, I did. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, you know how I feel about a 13th birthday party. Birthday party at 13. No birthday party at 16. No birthday party. No graduation party or any of that other stuff. No. Too much trouble. It's only combed because I'm going on an audition. I don't know how to dress on an audition. Do you know what I mean? Like I was thinking of going in character, but I kind of want to be an open canvas. Do you know what I mean? And then I was thinking of putting on like one of my short wigs to, you know, to give them something different than Wendy. Like maybe if I put that wig on or something like that. I said, no, because I don't really know what they want. So I should probably go with a basically clean palette, like, you know, makeup, no. Uh, regular Wendy hair and a regular Wendy outfit and then let them squint and work with it. Most important thing is that none of that matters if I don't have these lines down. 
So right after I eat, Roberta's gonna come back. You know, she's my line reader. She helped me, through, as you'll see tonight, she helped me through Broadway. And um, yeah. Own it, own it, own it. Ba ba bum 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 bum. Ra da 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 da. I love you for watching today. Um, tomorrow, we are gonna give another deserving breast cancer survivor a head to toe makeover. And Nick Carter. And of course, more juicy, juicy hot topics. All right, so don't forget, TV Guide Network tonight at eight um, is the premiere. I don't know whether it'll run again, so there's that. And then tomorrow, uh, be here for juicy hot topics in the show, okay? I love you for watching today. See you next time. Before you go out, you to oh, but this dress. This dress is like two years old. I have it in forest green too. It's Catherine Melandrino. It's what you would call an investment piece. It's made of sweater. You know what I love about it? Because you know I love a short dress. It's been showing the whole show. Oh, show. <laughs> um, you always get away with it. What I love about this dress is that it's a classic. It'll never go out. It's, it'll never go out of style. And when you want to be guaranteed that you won't look like a cheap tart, then you wear a dress like this. She's doing a collaboration with Coles. Is she? Mm -hmm. And it looks fantastic. John, do you like my dress? You wear it well, Wendy. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Catherine Melandrino's doing a collaboration with Coles. Very nice. Shout out Coles. Yeah. Boy, I really did like that Nick Carter. He owned his thing. You know what I'm saying, Joni? Mm-hmm. Okay, you got shoes? He owned it. Lily, a lot. Yes. Liliana did a great job with Weeklin, a breast cancer survivor. You know, gone are the days where, you know, breast cancer and the concerns are for a 50-year-old woman. Jesus. Right? 26? 27. Oh, she was 27? Yeah. Same difference. She graduated, but she managed to still graduate from college. And she's out there in the job. I'm glad we were able to help her out. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what time do we do the next show? Uh, the second show today is at 2.10. 2.10. Due to the music performance we have. We're oh, Nelly. Long rehearsal with Nelly. Nelly. So pushing us back about a half hour. It's okay. So 2.10. It's my version of Friday, I don't care. And you have an hour before they come brief Thank you. you. An hour? 12.15 they come into you. Not if a show's at 2.10, then uh, they come in at 1.15. You're the boss, you can make the rules, I just read the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, boy. Just gonna plug in. He's a mess. Uh, me to what? <laughs> well, I won't be able to eat my sandwich in privacy then. Bye! <clears throat> Could you believe Antoine's thigh and Poom Poom shorts? Yes, yes, yes. Last night on the TV Guide special. Maybe it'll maybe it'll repeat um, this week. A couple of times, so if you missed it, you'll be able to see it. The young lady with Ask Wendy. How you doing? Hi, Wendy, how you doing? I'm doing well. What's your name? Mariella. Hi, Mariella. Mariella. So my boyfriend and I have been together for 10 years. Um, we've been discussing marriage, and um, you know we're 26 and 28. And I just wanted to know if <laughs> I just wanted to know if it should be the right thing that I ask him to marry me now or in in January. I'm sorry. I know that some of you younger people get very mad at me. You think I don't believe in young love. I do believe in young love. I just believe that if you are with a guy since you, since you were 16 years old, and, and, uh, come here. I just want to say something to you really quickly. I just don't feel. Come on, let's go into the wig room. I just don't feel that that's the right thing to do. You're, you should not be, it is. I just don't think it's healthy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't think it's healthy to be that deeply in love from the time you're 16 and you're still in love with that same person at 18. And you know, I wonder if they went to college together. Like, 
I, and you know, when we went into the commercial break, I forgot to ask her if they live together. They probably do. So he's never been with anybody. She's never been with anybody else. They've never cheated on each other. And cheating does not mean sex. It means just go out on a date. She's never gone out on a date with another guy. That's not practical for 2013. I am sorry. And women lose out more than men when we're in relationships like that. She is doing herself a disservice. I bet you they went away to school together or they went to a local college together. Like, it's just not healthy. It's not healthy. So their anniversary is in January. And for her sake, when they talk about marriage, I hope he doesn't say, let's do it because she's ready to do it. Maybe he'll say something like, we need to take a break. It'll hurt her heart a little bit, but it's probably the best thing for her. She needs to take a, she needs to have several seats from that relationship for at least two years. Like a young lady needs, at 26, needs to know what it's like to turn the key to her own apartment. I mean, and it's great to have roommates in that whole bit, but nothing spells true independence like living on your own, like, like your own apartment. I don't care if it's the size of the wig room. You know, with rats the size of this wig head. <laughs> then again, what do I know? I only know of what I speak. I've had rats the size of this wig head and lived in an apartment the size of the room, but I was the only one living there. And that is where I learned how to root little piggy or die, as my father would say. Sure, I've lived with boys before. I've never had girl roommates. Oh, well, you know, in college, they throw you in the dorms. I, but I've lived with boyfriend before, but She probably doesn't know how to change a tire or how to shut off the gas. It's not healthy. Um, I can't wait to see Nelly. I haven't seen Nelly in years. You know, he's got this song out with T.I., so he's gonna be performing, Nelly is. And then I wanna ask him about the acting, cause you know, you know, I mean, the rap thing is cool and everything, but you know, I kinda, like I like how LL Cool J did it, you know, how he's, and, and how T.I. is doing it. I, I think that it's important for people to ha have um, diversity to their careers, particularly once they get older. Go ahead. <laughs> I love you for watching and I love you for being here. And I'll, I'll see you tomorrow on the show. It's going to be fun. Bye. I cannot believe best money I ever spent in my life. And this dress would show it. Oh, yes, get my fashionable shoes. Your silver with the ankle strap. Double ankle strap. A double ankle strap, which makes me at first be doubly skeptical about wearing them because girls with thick ankles um, shouldn't wear um, um, ankle straps because they emphasize their ankles. But, the, but, since, but since everything else on me is so emphasized, <laughs> might, as, might as well keep emphasizing. Oh my gosh, I love these shoes. They're so comfortable, it's ridiculous. They're by J. Crew. Are, and are you gagging that they actually, look, they're not squeezing my feet. Do you see a little room in the back of them? I am gagging at these shoes. Joni? Those are nice. Would you wear these, Joni? No. They're good for some people, but I don't like them. Too tall heels. I don't feel comfortable walking. Yeah, I just can't bend you all. Yeah. Please, young man. <laughs> Silly Willie. Oh, Willie, thank you, Willie. You're a little tall. Help go a lot, Wendy. <laughs> no, they're a little tell tall. you what, they're a little tall. They're a little tall. Um. I guess I need to stay low to the ground. Cause you gotta run. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 no, I gotta fly. Those are gonna be in the way. <laughs> okay, look at me. Tristan, I said, gotta fly. <laughs> Listen, you wanna go on a um, you wanna go on a field trip? I have to keep my outfit on. I'm doing something. Um, after we load up the audience. After after the audience. No, it's 12:30. Oh, you have something though. 
Nickelodeon. With Nickelodeon. Yeah, that's, that's at 12.30. That's involve us, though. No, that's right at, it's at like 11.30. Oh. Is it 11.30? Yeah. Yep. It's soon, as soon as we load out the audience, 11.30. All right, well then we have to get up to the shoe department. Quickly, yeah, come, on, come on, oh. come on, no, oh, come on, no, come on, come on. No. Go, go, go. Yeah, why does you do it later? No, mm -mm, I want to look now. Um, I, there's, there's a pair of shoes that I was thinking about. Oh, bye, Wimpy. Bye. Come on, man. Mm -hmm. Cause you want to know what? You're trying to make me forget. I'm not gonna forget. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Come on now. Try to make me forget. Who's riding a bicycle to work? Me. You're fabulous. <laughs> like, like you just found that out. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's what I want to know. Where are the terrible platforms that we can still wear? Actually, I've been meaning to come up here for, for a little while now. This is all the stuff we have downstairs, the empty boxes. Uh -huh. The stuff that's still in the boxes is like through there. So a lot of the awful stuff is back there. And then the stuff that we can't bear to even look at is hidden in the closet. That's what I want to look at. Yes, it would be. We've spent a lot of money on stuff that we can't bear to look at. But that's what happens in fashion. It's terrible. But the older I get, the more I feel like, you know what? If this is not gonna be fabulous in at least 10, 10 years, I'm not buying it. You know what I mean? That's what I feel about handbags. It's now what I feel about shoes. Um, it's why I'm starting to collect a lot of flats. I can't spend, I mean, my own personal money as well as the, the wardrobe budget. I mean, it's ridiculous how much money we've spent on those platform shoes. And as Kate was talking, by the way, I thought that tabletop demo was fantastic. Yeah, Kate's fantastic. Really she good. really is, that's one of my favorite magazines. Mm -hmm. I love that people style watch. But here's what she was telling me, which is what I've told you, like I don't, I, it's almost like I'm allergic to round toe flats and I have some, but I always feel that they're childish like. You know I love a point, I love a pointy flat. You always say it's very Siri Cruz. Yes. We don't have very much that we don't like, do we? <sighs> I mean, we don't, man. Disparage these, anyone. No, we're not are, disparaging. Those are... Um, these are Gianfranco Ferrar. Or, how do you say the name? Is it Gianfranco Ferrar? Yeah. Very expensive. No, that's Gianmarco Lorenzi. Which, like, we he's, stuff. he's Italian. Oh, no, we do. We do. This is nothing disparaging about the designers. It, there was a time in life yeah. where these no, shoes no, were no. the cat's meow. And apparently that time has been in since summer of 2008 because yeah, this, this is, is look at these yeah i did that these were actually <laughs> worn on this show and they're fantastic they're fantastic but this is one of my favorite designers giuseppe zanotti but look at that platform i can't but we're not throwing these away because we don't Maybe. we don't throw away we don't shoes that i can but what do you want us to do with them we've talked about this for a minute Maybe we should have a giveaway, uh, some sort of sweepstakes. To have well, we, yeah, no, we have to get together with um, with other people at the show and decide when we're going to have our sale, honestly. And then maybe, like, one of the Wendy watchers do something and have one of them, because so many people write in for the, your size shoe. I know, to get them, so. I know. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to take them home, because here's the problem with those shoes, for instance, the ones that we just saw. Um, by the time those come back into style, um, I will probably be... 60. It'll be like 10 years from now. <laughs> no, it'll be like... And what does a 60-year-old woman need to be walking around? <laughs> <laughs> you would be that woman, girl. <laughs> if anyone would be. I'll be, be that girl. <laughs> but no, so this is really it. You know what I really came up here for? Mm -hmm. <coughs> the leopard lace-up mm -hmm. platform... I know the one. Christian Louboutins. Because you know I only wore those shoes one time. I've had well, actually you wore them twice if I remember from the book, but here's all the leaves. And then this is these are um these are all my looks from the show. You're so organized, Nemsor. Oh, Unbelievable. That, that's that's Willie. I won't take credit for it. But Thank we, God for Willie. Look at all nice to be able to look at them at a glance and kind of see see the things that look fantastic. Isn't see our mistakes, because we do make them. These yeah. ones, yeah. Oh, these were fantastic. I wanted these so badly. And I only wore them. Twice. Yeah. These are fan. Why can't I wear these again? They're just yeah. not in style. Yeah, yeah th this platform isn't so big. Willie, you don't like these? No, we do. I didn't make a face. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> we had a secret face. We have codes in this department. 
Um, I think they're fantastic. I think the question was, we put them away for a particular reason. When they come back mm -hmm. in 10 years. And you know what that reason is. Oh. Do you want to share it with them? I want to take them home. <laughs> <laughs> Get out and stay out. I'll wear them in my personal Never life. Never come back here again. <laughs> No, I really did like that. Oh, I forgot to ask him about spikes. And, I, and here's the thing. Here's the thing that you always have to remember with um, what fashion people say and trends are. You always have to stay true to yourself and what works for you. For me, the spikes stay. Because the spikes that I have, remember I asked her during the tabletop demo about spikes. The thing is, is that, really James, what are we doing? They're loading the one side. Can't we just Wait. walk past them? No. Uh, Come on, let's go talk spikes. spikes. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to talk about one more thing. Yes. Come on. In here? Mm. Oh, no. Oh, it's bright in there. That um, yellow is. Yeah, that yellow is horrible. It's harsh. Um, I wanted to talk about spikes, and and I was explaining to the after show family that. No matter what fashion people say, mm -hmm. you always have to ultimately be true to yourself and what works for you. Mm. For me, I feel like we've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on spikes with the platform yes. and that five inch heel. No bueno. I just but, think that with all of the trends. But the spikes that yeah. we got for this season and last right. season, right. you know, my, my nude ladylike um, Louboutins, and, and I, we just got some more in like dark yep. plum mm -hmm. and black yeah, and yeah. stuff. Those stay. Like, I'm not getting rid of those. But those are more subtle. Those are subtle. And I just think it is the kind of thing, even with the platforms we pulled out, if that's your thing and you like them, you want to keep wearing them, listen, don't listen to a Kate Dimmer or even someone like me. Right. If you are consistent and true to your style, that's the difference between following fashion trends and having style. So the trends come through and you have to be the person to kind of select one or two, try them out, as we've done many a time. If it doesn't work, you, you really haven't killed anyone. Yeah. You, you shake it off and you figure it out. But once you get into a niche that you know works for you, there's nothing wrong with mining it to oh, the death. Look how like organized I do with you my... are. Yeah. The, the, these outfits all start from day one of this season five. This is what I wore day two, day three, day four. I love this day five, day six. Oh my God, I loved this outfit. Yeah. I love everything. Uh, people thought it was real simple mm -hmm. and what have you. Yes. But I think the I, idea I love this, which same dress I'm wearing right now, just <laughs> different color. If you find something that works for you, buy it in multiple colors. I um, wasn't a huge fan of this, but you guys loved, loved it. it. You loved this dress. Mm -hmm. I wasn't originally a huge fan of this. It didn't have hanger appeal, but and it looked great. It looked great. But this. We, do, we do have the same one in blue, and I think that, no, not that one, the, the other one. This one. I think we will slim it. Just to kind of change it up a bit. You'll take yes, it in. Just take it in, just through the. Okay. The ways, just to change it up. But I think that this is the lesson. And this is perhaps the first time I will address all of the people who comment about what they love, what they don't. At the end of the day, we're having fun. It's 180 plus shows for any given season. We're going to try something that will look great. It might have been an idea that I thought was fantastic. We put it on. Sometimes I think. It looks great and you guys hate it. Sometimes I hate it and that's the day you guys love it. We're having fun and we read the comments but really we take it all with a grain, a pinch of salt. We love you guys but at the end of the day, if Madam loves it enough to walk out, you guys can read to Phil. <laughs> but that's the problem. But Madam doesn't like always love it but when I look at these, I yeah. say, you want to know what? I do. I loved everything that we've worn. So This is yesterday's Versace. This snake's dress, looks better in person because your breasts look like pendulums <laughs> trust me we, we we saw it we they look the it. biggest ever they really did i wanted to cut my own <laughs> breast off really i wanted did. to stab them and pop them they really and did so if you think we're sitting here thinking everything that we did like sometimes we look at the monitor and we're like okay well but the beauty of it is there's always another day and that's where you need to look at life Thank sometimes you. there will be a mistake but unfortunately ours are documented and commented on but you know what uh, <laughs> that's okay we have thick skin oh well Thick like snake skin. Snake skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All is right. the audience loaded up? Can we go downstairs now? Are you here? Yeah, I feel like. <laughs> huh, what's going on, Brendan? We're clear. Okay. Look at, the, look at the color of Roberta's office. Just. It's like a loony bin. And she doesn't spend any time in there. She doesn't decorate. <sighs> what are you guys doing? Oh. Oh, John 
legends coming. Okay, well that's a private conversation. Um, let me, I have to do the special for Nickelodeon. Can you come back at 12.15? Yeah. Okay. I'm here until 1.30. I have a meeting uh, in the city. Okay. Well, hey. We're back in the studio. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey. What You're clear, right? Come you, on in. You missed a field James, trip. we can go back oh, in. We can go on the floor if you want. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, Matt. Hi. Hi. Sorry, I can go in wardrobe. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think I have to, um, do we have to do it now? Yeah. About, about five or ten minutes, okay. I'll come get you. Okay. Okay, so now, um, I wanted to show you what I meant with these shoes. See, that's, that's, that's the main wardrobe area. He brings things downstairs. I've told you this because I get, God, I don't want to turn his TV down. He brings things downstairs for me because I'm not going up and down the steps. But like, these are, these are the ones I was speaking of. I'm not getting rid of these. Like, I don't care what a trend says. And these are brand new for the season and they have everything, a spike, Every color, it's so good. They work. And like I was telling you about the dress, look, I have the same dress in every color imaginable. Same exact dress. Because sometimes you just feel like you wanna wear an old friend, you know? My hormones are like going crazy. Uh, mm -mm. Oh. oh. Oh my God. You know, when I started uh, my cycle back when I was 14, it just, it's, it's just gotten um, more emotional for me. Like in the past year, in the past year. Like this menopause, I can't wait for the menopause, right? Because all of a sudden, like my back hurts more and it hasn't even started, but I know by the time this conversation's finished, it probably have started. Do you go through it hard when you get your period? Oh my God. I can't. Get out. Oh my God, I gotta do that thing for Nickelodeon. Oh my God. Oh, I love you for watching. Bye. Thanks for going to our sound man. I need a pair of scissors. I need a pair of scissors so I can cut a slit in the back. Dean! Wendy. I take suspenders. Hi. Hi, Dean. Oh, how you doing? I haven't seen you Great in a show. long time. Great show. It makes you wiggle when you walk. I know, but you want to know what? I think because my legs, the circumference of my legs are bigger than the average woman. Um, you know, my calves are very uh, big. So to walk like this, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it's, like it's very like, shimmy. Yeah. I, I, um, that Dita Von Teese that, dress that, that I wore last night, one, yeah. that had no slit either. So there at the UN, where I'm supposed to be dignified, here I go walking like this. <laughs> That's the kind of lady you are, man. I love this whole outfit, though. That's fantastic. I love the turtleneck. I love the skirt. It might not have looked good on TV, because it's horizontal. You look great. You look great. Gee, look at the fashion police behind the camera talking. He's talking about you, Tristan. You look great. Ooh, I'm going to put Tristan on blast. Uh-uh. Tristan made a call to me yesterday about your outfit. Ooh. <laughs> saying how much he loved it. He did? Yes. That's part of this outfit though. I mean, everything's great, but these shoes are the bee's knees. And I have them in flat too. I'm gonna buy some Oprah stuff. She doesn't wear my shoe size, so it won't be shoes. I don't want something like that. Like, I, I would like to buy like a settee. A truck shoe? Um, no, no, like a settee. Not a full. Not a full couch, maybe a chair. Why not? A chair, a couple of bar stools. 
Bar stools? Do you, I don't know. Bar stools are so regular. Do you think Oprah has bar stools in her um at her kitchen island? No, she has a bar in her house, probably. Well, point is, I'm buying something, and I'm gonna keep reminding you too. Let's go in there together. You know, you know, you see what you find, and then I'll see what I find. And she's not gonna sell stuff for a lot. That's not in Oprah's nature. She's not a Kardashian. Oh, that was all I was gonna ask you to do. Oh, yeah. I got one more. Do the same thing for the front. Here, Willie. Thanks. Do the same thing for the front. What? Like you just did. Oh, loosen it up. Thanks. Oops, something stuck in there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he got lost. <laughs> so, it's day two of my quest for the perfect sandwich. And it continues. Forget the Reuben. You know, I just thought, bye bye. I decided a Reuben is really the kind of sandwich you're supposed to eat it with a knife and fork. Rutabaga. It's supposed to be open. You ask what rutabaga is. That's the code word for the talent is secured in the in my room or wherever. Um, anyway, I decided that the perfect Reuben sandwich is not supposed to be eaten like this anyway. The perfect Reuben sandwich is supposed to be open face with thinly sliced corned beef brisket. See it, 145. Yep. Enjoy it. And oh, I'm not gonna have the Reuben. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna have, but it's not gonna be the Reuben. Come on. Drew Carey's on. The price is right. Hi, Drew. I love him. Such a nice man. Um. Perfect Reuben sandwich is eaten with a knife and fork. Spicy mustard. Little coleslaw on the side. Swiss cheese melted ever so lovely on the top. Underneath the Swiss is supposed to be the sauerkraut. Now, don't forget the Russian dressing. And you're supposed to eat it like this. Because the perfect Reuben is too sloppy to eat like this. So, I was way off base yesterday anyway. So today, I've decided that I'm going to get wheat roll, a roll. I very rarely eat rolls, but you know, rolls really do make a sandwich a sandwich. A hoagie is the king of all sandwiches, but I can't go there because I have to do Friday show. What am I wearing? How flat do I have to stay? Color that color block dress? Right. Oh, well, wait, let me see the dress. Oh, a color block dress? I might be able to have a hoagie. I'll tell you why. <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. Because a color blocking dress gives you the illusion of being thinner than you are. So when the hoagie lays down here, the color blocking will... I don't see it. Right oh, yeah. All right, so I'm wearing this on Friday's show. So just by virtue of the way the dress is color blocked, maybe I can get away. Maybe I can get away with a hoagie. Mm. Anyway, um, two slices of um, two slices of pepper jack cheese and one slice of um, Swiss cheese. I got a side of, well, I already have horseradish in my refrigerator, golds. Um, soak both sides of bread with um, vinegar. But send a little spicy mustard on the side. Humor me with a little mayonnaise. And I want two whole pickles, not pickle pieces. I don't like pickle pieces. I don't have a lot to say. You want to come in my room? I mean, how about that? Hold on. Hold on. How about that John Legend? Huh? Wasn't he just fabulous? It's nice to catch up with old friends. He seems so content, doesn't he? Just a nice, polite conversation. Behind the scenes, we talk through the entire commercial break. Both of them. Um, just, you know, a nice guy. Chrissy was in L.A. Otherwise, she would have probably been here as well. His, his girlfriend. Wife. Oh, his, oh, right. Excuse me, Tristan. Okay. 
when you recently get married, you want to be sure that people use the right term. I know, Justin. <laughs> Kevin's party is out of control. His party is out of control, and I mean that in a good way. Um, and it's this coming weekend, so we're making the final preparations for that. And nothing else matters in the house to him except for the party and doing his schoolwork. I mean, he's doing everything he's supposed to do in order to deserve a, par a party like the party that we're about to give him. Um, so there's really nothing I can say. You know, when I look in the garbage, I don't see the spinach after dinner. He doesn't know, but I do look. Um, he's doing his homework. He's being respectful. He's going to bed on time. Like all that stuff. So he has a pre-party on Saturday. The pre-party is, you know, when all his, you know, friends come up, well, not all his friends, but, you know, a few select friends come over, you know, and it's supposed to be raining all weekend here um, in the tri-state area, so they won't be outside, but to be inside playing that B2K10 new game thing, and I guess on the internet and on the telephone, the way kids do. And Saturday night, he has a bat mitzvah. Sunday is his party, uh, with no work or school on Monday. Um, He's, we're allowing him to have a little after party just with a couple of friends. You know how you debrief after a party, <laughs> you know, uh, a little debriefing. So he'll have a little after party. And then Tuesday, it's back to school. And I don't want to hear a peep from you because we will officially be your parents of the year. <laughs> and we're not having Decade. a party. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Tristan, you're coming, aren't you? Yeah. You go and Margo's coming? Um, I don't know if she's coming yet. Not yet. Well, Tristan, if she doesn't but go. Th yes. She's picking up the gift today. A gift? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> can you not bring it to the party, though? I, I can be easier to give it. Yes. Well, it's just an envelope. <laughs> then I'll bring my silk bag to you. I know exactly what to do. <laughs> just make sure he gets it. <laughs> oh, no, he'll get it all right. What do you have? I have your sandwich. It did come from Toasties? It came from Toasties. It feels nice and heavy like a toasty sandwich. I decided not to go long. I went round. I don't see my condiments. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait a minute now. Ro ordered it. Okay. I like the lettuce and tomato on the side so that after I put it in the microwave, they don't get soggy. What are you missing? Wait a minute. Mayonnaise, horseradish. I don't see Russian dressing and I don't see any extra vinegar. I but think it's a Russian dressing. No, it's okay. You know what? Never mind. I have vinegar and I have hot peppers. I'm good. All right, Joe, open the door so I can let you all out. You're so weird, too. Don't act like you're not weird. <laughs> Love you for watching. Tomorrow we got our Hot Talk panel. Don Lemon stopping by. He's going to be on the Hot Talk panel. Oh, one of my faves, Jane Velez Mitchell, is coming for the Hot Talk panel. And Siggy Flicker. Siggy Flicker. I love her. Big mouth New York girl. She's a relationship expert. She puts it down. Um, and then, of course, Juicy Juicy Hot Topics and me and you. So, and we already know what I'm going to wear, so I guess I can go take off my wig, put on my robe, and eat. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> I mean, love you for watching. Bye. Say hi to the Tron today. Before you go, please make sure you go to our family and bring the Tron Girl Show along. He's back there saying the Snake and Bubbles here for today. Are they bigger in this dress than the snake dress? Halfway through the show, Mem Sor comes out, and here he goes. I hope to see you all at the end of the show real soon. Please check out the YouTube channel for all your personal videos. So then here he goes. Stop. So here he goes. Um, to Antoine. Pull all of her to the front. It minimizes her boobs. <laughs> he goes, pull all of her hair to the front. It minimizes her boobs. <sighs>
Well, it looks good in person, and the boobs stay. I don't care. I had a great time. I don't know what this is. My husband saw it. He's like, who are you, Pocahontas? I said, no, braids are big for the season. And, um, you know, it's not necessarily my favorite thing, but I like when my people, I like when I'm, I like when I can be mature enough to give them the creativity to, to do what they're hired to do here. Not all the time. I got one more. Hold on, I want to show them how my wigs stay on. Woo! That's right, I got hit with it. I just met you. <laughs> this is crazy. Damn. I hope when I'm 62, my husband asks me to still wear spandex, and I hope that I'm able to pull it off. Wasn't she cute in the audience, Joan? She's short. I saw her a little bit of her. Yeah. I what she was saying. Yeah. Her husband was in the audience also. He was very handsome. Can you believe the audacity of... Well, I guess God, you know, look, I love men. I'm not a man basher, but I'm pretty consistent with saying that women are so much smarter than men in so many ways. Some of us don't know that we're smarter, so we, we act stupid. Sometimes we do. So last night, me and my boyfriend are having sex, uh -huh. and in the middle of our encounter, he stops me. Okay and asked me to get my best friend over there in the other room that was sleeping to join us. Okay. Um, I, I had no idea what to say or do, and I, this is why I'm wearing this. Trust, Trust no, no man. man chain. <laughs> um, I just want to know, do I address this? Do I make a conversation? Or do I just pretend that it never happened? Why would he ask his girl to bring her best friend in? Unless he thought he could get away with that. Really? Like, yeah, and, and who thinks... <laughs> and who... <laughs> I mean, some utensils. Don't throw the thing. I don't have to buy them. They're throwing them out. Oh. Saving money. Wait. Oh. Honeycombs, look how cute this is. That is when I have company, when and I have, have company tea. over, and you dip it in the honey with the honey and cheese. Yes. I'm really not this cheap all the time, just with this kind of stuff. Look, you don't need a whisk when you make scrambled eggs? Oh, no, this is for beater. Look, beater. Oh. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> look. Are you gonna take the chopsticks? Boop. Thank you. What about the containers? These containers are good for makeup. Damn. Uh oh. Oop. Waste not, want not. Um. Uh. No. A, a man who asks you to have a threesome after only knowing you for a month is definitely not looking at you with respect. He met you thinking that you were a particular kind of tardy woman. And, Best of luck, Sandra. And um, thank you, Brendan. I wish that you all could get a babysitter. I promise we will try our hardest to get somebody to come watch the kids. Can I bring a one-year-old to a club? No. <laughs> 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 right, thank you. And then you're going out of town. You're not going to be at Kevin's party. Yeah, I won't be my God. You know he doesn't like kids anyway. His son is grown, OK? I get people who don't like kids, who don't want to be around a bunch of kids. But the oh, thing Kevin, that's my boy. The thing about Kevin's party, exactly, you guys have seen him grow up. Yeah. Now, Morel, I know you can't stand kids. Don't like them. Will you please, we're going to have drinks, we're going to have an adult section where there's going to be drinks, and, and there's plenty of security for the kids. There's, I can't. Will they be down there? Believe it or not. And they'll be up here? Believe it or not, yes. Okay, well then that's cool. And there will be dads there, so I'll be okay with it. There will be dads. <laughs> Willie? Oh, I'm single, so you know. Are you coming to my son's birthday party? I am going. Thank you. We're going to turn it out, mm -hmm. though, so they better be ready. Is, is. Jay set and twerking <laughs> and all that. Is, is, um. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be talking on Tuesday. Is, <laughs> uh, is, uh, no, well. The parents going to send you letters. <laughs> <laughs> Your friends, Wendy. Um, uh, they're very colorful. <laughs> um, and will Memsor be coming? And I know he doesn't seem like he is. He's going. Okay, good. And of course, Tristan and Margo are going to be there as well. And we're going to get Tri Tristan. Will you twerk for us? <laughs> I don't think so. Does Margo twerk? No. No. It's Maybe later. later. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a school night. The 13 year old kids, they twerk and everything. No, we're going to be, I mean, everybody's invited. I, I just can't wait for this party to be over with. It's. I, I can't wait, you know, he spends time trying to divide my husband and I, and for my husband, I know what they talk about are like, 
his sneaker changes and sneaker choices and the outfit because yeah, they so. went shopping for the outfit together like like guys like I, I wasn't a part of it um, buying the outfit because uh, I was at the gym or something anyway we brought him into the city and it was on a Saturday and I generally don't come in the city on Saturdays I like to stay in Jersey with the blinds shut um, <laughs> but it's like a guy thing like you know guy bonding and, and I like that it's it's nice to see a boy with his father so um, but it's been all consuming, you know, the amount of kids coming through the house, the amount of texts, you know, when the, when you get your text, it makes that noise, the text just going crazy and him back and forth with the party planner, she's emailing the confirmations and it just, ooh, ooh, I'm happy for him now, you know, I'm happy for us for having him, really. I'm gonna tell you something. That hot talk panel was fire! I love Siggy Flicker. Love her, love her, love her. She's been coming to the show now uh, on and off for a couple of years. Um, I love her. I love Jane Velez Mitchell. Last time I was at HLN, James let me know that she has that picture hanging over her desk in her office. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Um, and Don Lemon. I've known dear Don since way before he came out of the closet publicly. Um, for years. So, and they all know each other and they all love each other. And I love the spicy talk. And I love, um, you know, that they weren't scared to say it like you mean it because that's what the hot talk panel is all about, you know? I have to be honest with you, I have a meeting in 20 minutes in here and I don't want to have the meeting with makeup on and this dress so I'm going to ask you please understand that I have to oh my gosh my stomach before this I did end up eating the roast beef sandwich with cheese and then here he comes plate of oxtails collard greens and rice like come on now <laughs> come on now good yeah i had two oxtails it's though. hard to resist that yeah so i love you for watching monday is columbus day but the office will be open because i like it that way i love when everybody's home that they can turn on our show and catch up with it in case they're at work all the time when it comes on so you know i'm gonna be here monday and uh we're gonna have um, Ja Rule. You know, he just got out of prison. Ja Rule and I have known each other. Jeffrey is his name. Uh, Jeffrey and I have known each other for many, many years. Um, and I want to get to the bottom of, uh, you know, how prison life was, what he's doing now. Wig. Yes. I don't think I like the braid. Why not? I think it made me too bald in the face. I should have dropped it down just a little bit more, but it was okay. So we had to. I needed to see it and okay. see how it read. Yeah. Yeah, it was okay. When I was looking, I agree with you. I should have just dropped it just a little Why bit Why do we more. experiment with things on TV? The, the, normally, you would think, you know, being that this is a professional show, uh, we, this is our fifth season, that we wouldn't be experimenting on TV. Because but, it's just here. Yeah. And it's fun. You're right. I mean, I just think I was too bald in the face here, you know? You were just, you were, you were too open. Too open. Yeah. Not that it's not a bad. It's, no, it's not, I, a, it's not a bad a good thing. Face. But I just looking at, it, I wish I, uh, I wish I would have just dropped it just a little bit. Then why didn't you come during commercial and drop it down? He changes my makeup in the middle of the show all the time. Cause it's just hair. I mean, you weren't horrible, and that's why we do what we do so we can so we see what we we can do next time. Well, now I want to wear this wig on Monday because that braid gave a lot of good texture. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, put four plaits in it. That's what <laughs> yeah, country yeah. people call braids. Put four plaits in it and sit it on the wig head and spritz it with some water and let it sit for the weekend. And however it turns out is how I wear it on Monday. Yeah, Frizz and mess. I don't care. Today I wore your hair. Monday you're going to compromise and uh, wear mine. That's why you did it. All right, you're dirty. <laughs> and I'm not wearing what he says for an outfit. I'm picking the outfit Monday. Oh. Too, mu too much. Too much. Too much. Love you for watching. See you next time. <laughs> so, there was an after party after the party, you know. You know, just, you know, the guys came over and 
I woke up, they were all littered around the house today. So I go home and I'm ignoring them. I'm going right to my room and slamming the door. <laughs> three times. Yep, three times. Leave me alone. Oh. Most people brought envelopes. And some people bought regular gifts. Doesn't matter. Just appreciate anything. I put all of his gifts and stuff in my closet because I, you know, I don't want him to open them now um, until he cleans his room, which looks like a bomb hit it. <laughs> but I haven't been bothering him because um, for the whole weekend, the whole weekend, like, you know, my weekend starts on Thursday, um, but his doesn't start until Friday when the bus drops him off at 3.30. So now, next thing you know, six o'clock at night, ding dong, 6.01, ding dong, 6.05, ding dong. Before you know it, Friday night, we had, there were about seven kids over. I was on patrol, you know, my big mom robe, my mom wig. And then on, um, and then seven kids came, came over, but th three stayed and then maybe four more came back Saturday afternoon. And I thought it was gonna rain all weekend in Jersey, but it ended up being pretty nice. It was nice. But I stayed inside because that's what I planned. I already planned that I was going to stay inside, so I didn't leave the house until this party. Hmm. The way I figure it, times have not changed at all. Girls at 13 are so much more advanced than boys will ever be in life. Have a nice afternoon. Right, Tristan? <laughs> Oh. My husband used to um, have these great parties, um, Don's and Divas parties, and they're pretty legendary here in New York, and he was the party planner. He's like Martha Stewart of the hood or something. <laughs> like you would, you would never think that my husband would know exactly what to do in terms of party planning, but you know, um, he's got a very discerning eye, and I'll tell you something else. When starting to plan this party, we were going to have a party planner and it ended up being, you know what, let me just put on my old shoes of what I used to do. And he was back in the saddle planning a party. And he did it with Roberta, my assistant, the two of them. I mean, she, she was the follow-up girl and, and he was the, you know, you know, go do it. And they just did a really terrific job. I hadn't even been to Marquee. I mean, I know I've been there, but it's usually after midnight and the drinks are flowing. All the clubs look the same to me. The ins you know what I'm saying? Do you know what clubs you go to? And do you remember how it was in there? And ooh, 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 they all, they all look the same. But um, Marquis is an active nightclub. So we had to be out of there at 10, because at 10.01, here come the adults. But yeah, they planned the whole thing. I hadn't even gone into, I hadn't gone to any of the party. Like I knew, I mean, I knew bits and pieces of things, you know, um, they sent home donuts and food samplings and I, I saw a sketch of the cake already you know you, you sketch out the cake before you put it on there and it was a sneaker and a nike box the, the cake it was the cake was kind of silly in a good way nothing <laughs> we gave him the party i heard you so what did you give him mm -mm. you've been watching my super sweet 16 a little too much <clears throat> I have a gigantic meeting in here in like a half hour. It's a very, 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 very important meeting. And I don't want to have the meeting with today's beautiful Diane von Furstenberg. Just put me in something I want to feel comfortable. Give me an old friend dress. I've worn this before. Because that's how I feel right now. I just feel like... <sighs> you know, while those kids were downstairs thinking they were doing the most, we adults were upstairs doing the most too. We were drinking and eating and <laughs> laughing. And there was a point in the party where Kev looked up and all of his friends looked up, and we were, oh, bye, I was gonna have a party with you guys quickly. Who wants a party? Oh. 
Morel. If you like them, do you want the whole box? Uh uh. Come Try on, Wig. My shake I know. Wig loves sweets. Yes. Can you do Taylor? That's what he. Here. <laughs> the boys weren't at the party, but Willie showed out. I think twerked it. He shook it and twerked it. Shook it and twerked it. Shook it. You guys want some cupcakes? Willie, mm. would you take these up to wardrobe? Not wardrobe. Yes. We don't eat in the wardrobe department, right? <laughs> Nothing up there but lettuce. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask you. I mean, these are, these are really, really great. Oh, I'm just trying one? to. Yes, two whole boxes. Mm. Are you going to have a party? Do you want to take them home? Party in my mouth. <laughs> it, 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 and it's not even Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh, more. No, take, you, I know who I'm going to give. I'll take that one. You'll take that one. Not to the department, but somewhere else. I'm going to take this to the crew. I know they love food. They weren't kidding, they're really gone. Let me ask you to try these shoes on. Oh, you know what? These are good shoes, too. You ever looking for big, um, big savings on a shoe? Now, look, I love all designers, so I'm not, I'm not saying anything one to the other. But there's a time and a place for a Manola Blahnik. Doesn't fit into your budget, not a big deal. You can't tell the difference from one shoe to the other, can you? Come here. Very, very, very little difference, right? Subtle color, right? The Blahnik is, you know, a $700 shoe. This right here is from one of my favorite places to get shoes, Victoria's Secret catalog. Oh yes, well, this is good. And you see this? This is a J. Crew shoe. It's such about a few hundred dollars. They're comfortable as hell. Victoria's Secret catalog. Really girl? Don't spend all of your money on shoes. Buy a few good pairs and go to Aldo's or Victoria's Secret. I like Victoria's Secret catalog because I can just sit in the bed and, and shoe shop. <laughs> and then I call the, call the telephone number and talk to the nice lady. But the, saving, the savings are proper, right? Isn't this terrific? And I know what you're saying. Well, why do you, why do you shop there? You know why? Because even here at the show where they buy me everything, Victoria's Secret catalog, look. These cap toe shoes are a big deal this season. Um, he got me. I have a few pairs. I actually, I have these two. Well, these are Jimmy shoes. I've only worn them once. Anyway. Anyway, this is a big look for the season. I, I'm saying all that to say. And um, you know, sometimes you all ask me where I get where I get my shoes. Um, and I say, depends on who's doing the buying. <laughs> <laughs> If it's the show, Manola Blahnik. <laughs> uh, no, but you know what? You, you, know, you have to incorporate um, some things. Uh, you know, it's great to have a show, but when I didn't have a show, I, you know, I, I'd buy some nice shoes and then fill in um, because, you know, I'm a bigger foot, so I really can't just go any place. Um, you know, when last I checked, Aldo did not make size 11. Um, but Fredericks of Hollywood goes up to size 13 and their shoes are fabulous and stunning just like Victoria's Secret catalog um, Colin Stewart who designs for Victoria's Secret catalog um, the shoe that I like and he made those I just like them although I have had I won't say where but I've had a less expensive shoe heel break under my mammoth weight. And it was not cute at all. It was one of my first outings after giving birth to little Kev. And I was hosting a comedy club um, at Penn's Landing in Philadelphia. So we parked the car and we're walking into the club and my heel broke. It's amazing I didn't tumble all over the ground, but, but my heel did break. And um, then my husband screamed at me <laughs> you know, like, what the hell? You know, we got to go in here. You know, it was, a, it was a paid appearance, you know. Um, and, you know, 
we didn't live in Philly. We lived in Jersey. So now here we go. I said, why can't I just go in like this? You know me. <laughs> you know, like, why can't we just go in like this? It's fine. He said, no, no. Missed out on money that night. So sometimes you have to watch it when you buy a less expensive pair of shoes. Lloyd Boston and Sandra Bernhardt are coming tomorrow. Lloyd is really, really good with his fashion recommendation. Always. I've been counting on him, fashionably speaking, for years now, years. Back from the radio, he's been here a few times. Uh, he always comes ready to play, which is important. You know, don't just come about your business, come ready to play, like his personality is super duper. And I love Sandra Bernhard. Yeah, she's a really cool lady. So I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Just taking care of a little bit of business. That Reverend Al Sharpton is something else, isn't he? I can't believe he died it down to 138 pounds. I mean, I can't believe it because we saw it, but wow. More importantly, I can't believe he copped to his, his lady love. Listen, do you have a special lady in your life? Yes, but we are not. I told you you were going to come with some mess. Hey, look, listen, listen. I look at the internet. I saw a picture of you and a lovely young lady named Asia, and I see that she's in the audience sitting next uh, to your no, daughter. Her name is Asia. Asia. So sorry, Asia. Hi, hon. How are you? She's beautiful. The, the streets have been talking, and, and I saw the picture. That's it. And hi, Reverend Al's daughters. <laughs> it's nice. She gets along with the girls. I told, I told the girls and her, this was not 60 Minutes. You know Wendy will go there. <laughs> Ain't no shame in my game. We come yes! out. Yes! I figured he'd be so in denial. And I wasn't going to press it, you know. <sighs> he had her in the audience. She's part of the family. He was, his girls were sitting there, too. And then after, you know, I said goodbye to Reverend Al, and, and he went off back to, you know, Reverend Al's world. His girl and his daughters stayed at the show. They stayed all the way till the end. And then I guess they probably went out to lunch or to H&M. The usual stuff that people do after they leave the Wendy show. <laughs> people love going to H&M and people love going out for lunch. It's perfect. Perfect. And it's great because, you know, the show's over, our show's over at 11 o'clock here in New York at 11 o'clock. So, ugh, it's perfect. Go out for lunch, you get a little something to eat. I prefer to shop before lunch. Food always makes me so tired. Why does every day when we get together, it always comes back to food? Food brings us together though, right? Anyway, um, guess who's back? My girl, Charlie Baltimore. Charlie's got um, a new mixtape, a new mix, um, look at Charlie. Chuck, deuces, I like her. I always thought I would outgrow my love for the streets and street activity. Just like I always thought I would outgrow my love for a guy who's rough around the edges. Remember we were talking during Hot Topics and I was telling you, giving you some quotes from Taylor Swift? Yeah, it's true. Most girls do love a bad boy. Most of us think that it's a phase that we're going through and we wait for it to be over. We pray for it to be over because we stereotype and say that that's not what's going to make a decent husband or a decent father or whatever. Sometimes you just have to go with your gut. What the Ronald McDonald is this? Okay, so let me tell you what wig is done with this wig. All right, first of all, this is, this is one of my wigs. But I tell you, we always dye wigs. Very rarely, take a wig out of a box and just put it on. Are you kidding me? So this started out to be, you know who this is? This is the 
the almost black wig that you love. So, so dark brown that it looks black that you love. And I was feeling like it was too harsh and severe and too dark. Like he needed to, you know, just lighten it up a little bit. Just put, put a couple of highlights in it. Well, Wig went home and put on Earth, Wind and Fire or Diana Ross. He loves Diana Ross. He doesn't care about TV. Wig likes to listen to his music and, and, and get to crafting. He came back the next day. Literally, this was yesterday. This wig was so blonde that I said, wig, even I can't wear it. I mean, it was too, it was dark, but the ombre was so severe. I was like, I don't think I can wear it. He said, all right, you know what? I'm gonna take it home and do something with it. So this is what he did. Now, I know some of you all do love your hair in a more clowny color configuration. I'm not calling you a clown, but I'm saying, you know, there's red hair, like Juliana Moore red hair, which is subtle. And then there's red hair, like what Rihanna and some of the young girls do. Their red is like the color of this flower. I don't know what you call this color. I don't even have proper lighting to assess. Like orange. Humor me. I'll be right back. I'm not this girl. It's too edgy or something. It's the wrong color for my skin. Do I see pink highlights in it? Oh my gosh. Oh, wig. You ruined a perfectly good wig. <laughs> <laughs> Watch what he does to it, though. Antoine really is... Um, very, very talented with what, he, with what he does. And you see this wig like this today with pink highlights looking crazy. By the time you see me walk out on the Wendy stage and you're not even gonna recognize it. Antoine knows what he's doing. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Just hair. Are you dressing up for Halloween? I can't wait to show you my Halloween costume. We're not opening the door for Halloween as usual. I don't even like Halloween. I just think, think it's too scary. It's too scary. The world has just become a totally different place. You can't send your kids trick-or-treating anymore. I'm so glad that my kid is too old to even care about trick-or-treating. Um, can't send your kids trick-or-treating. You can't have a big Halloween party because you never know who's going to try to smuggle in weapons, you know, under their costume. But we're celebrating here at Wendy. But we're not celebrating at home. Besides, I eat candy all the time. I don't need a holiday to eat candy, okay? So, my seventh book. Don't forget that um, I need you to vote on the winning title. And there are two titles in the top five titles that I'm really partial to. But I'm going with what you guys say because ultimately out of the thousands of titles that were submitted, um, the five that we chose are five that I really like. They really are um, titles reflective of the book. Wig, is that you? Yes. I need to speak with you right now. Oh, no. What did I do? Wig, I just tried this on. And what happened? A mess. What, what happened, Wendy? <laughs> Listen to the hair department over there. <laughs> Sorry. It's, um... Well, we already agreed it was a mess. It's, like, it's, it's still in, it's, we're still working on it. I tried to tell them what color you had it yesterday when you came in. It was like as, it was like as white as the trim. Yeah, it was like the... the it was it was really, it was Pam really blonde. Anderson blonde. Yes, after being in the sun for like a year. Right. Yeah. Put it on. Let me see. I didn't see it. Mm -mm. Didn't want to watch the after show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You must. Uh, we gotta tone it down. You know. You know what it it's is. Just also, this this color doesn't look good against my skin. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, I agree. I mean, what what we gonna do? I don't know, but I don't want to keep you working all the time on You're the You're not same... keeping me where I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, but, <laughs> I, but in my mind, I keep asking you, when are we going to be able to wear it? Oh, well, we have worn it twice, so, you know, 
they don't know it's the same wig. You know. Yes, well they do because I told them it was the one it was the, the one darky. that they liked that was really yeah. really dark, and we decided that it was too dark and severe for me. So all I asked for you to do was put a couple of highlights down here, and he came back with <laughs> Tara Reid and Kim Kardashian all in the same with a, wig. With a little menage. In it. <laughs> <laughs> they turned down. Watch. That's how blonde it was. That was Nicki Minaj. That was. Whoa. It was ooh. That was blonde. Well, let me ask you this. I'm just having fun with it. But I'm sure people are wondering, what do you use to take the blonde away and all of a sudden make it fire red? I just put a, a just a semi permanent on it, like it was um, French cognac. And she was drunk, and she. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. the thing about it, I colored it right. And then when I was at the gym, I was sitting at my um, I was sitting at the little machine. I was, I was just thinking about the wig. I was like you that time. I was like, I can't wait to get home. I think I'm gonna do something else different for me too. Right. And so I get home and I light the front. And what had happened was. <laughs> <laughs> All the million colors I put on, uh -huh. I forgot about the base colors, and as soon as I lightened the front a little bit, it turned pink. I was gonna say, is that where the pink comes yeah, from? Yeah, that's where the pink comes from. <laughs> so while sitting on, I walk to the corner store, to the corner beauty supply store, and get a different kind of bleach, thinking it's really gonna take it to like yellow. Yes. And when you came back, it's, it was just still sitting there pink. So I, I put that on, and then what happened? It stayed pink. <laughs> It, so, it wouldn't unpink. So how did we get to this beautiful orange? No, the beautiful orange we had, but I just wanted to put a little highlights. I should have left it alone and just put some blonde tracks in. Your, but your beauty supply store is at the corner? The one that's convenient, not the one I would go to. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it's like, oh crap, it's almost 8 o'clock. We run and get to the city, yeah. Uh -huh. And I put it on and she's Halloweeny and she... <laughs> She is Halloweeny. You know. Well, we'll get it together. It's just, yeah, it's fun. I ain't gonna send you out there looking like Bozo. It is Bozo, we ain't. It is Bozo. <laughs> <laughs> but somewhere, somebody will wear this. Just because it's a really good wig. When are you gonna make me my Jennifer Aniston? That's coming. Come here, you want to I think we're gonna revamp my, my next project once I. My next project is going to be the controversy. I want this wig, which is probably but the wig. But you basically I... have that wig. Yeah, but no. And, and, and it's basically that wig, too. Mm -mm, but this is not as long. Mm -mm. I need a center part wig. This wig we've worn on the side, side so much that. So it's, not it's... The eight, not, No, you ain't going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Go ahead him. and say it. Go ahead and say it. Well, I'm just saying it's balding. It, it's balded right down to the side part. So now I can't part it in the middle because now I have a bald spot Shit. over here. This is like the wig I came in with today. It's pretty. And like I said, it's almost close to um, this wig from your hairline. Wendy's hair well. That was cute, right? <laughs> Thanks for the commercial. Um, why is this in here as an inspiration? Well, I like Eva we... Langoria. I don't like one-sided hair. Mm. There's just something about it. I just, I just. I, I... But you're that girl to me, though. You give me that girl, like, cause we have things coming up. So I need inspiration. Oh yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah. Wait a minute. I am this girl. You, you very that girl, with a little bit more lift on the side and a few more waves. Mmm. More S formation. Like, yeah. Like Eva Langoria has. Yeah. It. Exactly. Well, let's no, put this on the S. S Let's put this on the inspiration board. No, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, you can put that up there, but I wanted it in color. Oh, okay. All right, well, you get it in color. I'll put it up there. You can put this on top of it. This is the inspiration board. Mm -hmm. Every time I put something up here, he takes it down. So I finally said, well, what is it that you want? Well, you know, inspiration is, you know, personal and subjective. Her inspiration is not my inspiration sometimes. This is my inspiration. This tease and pop. That's you, though. Remember, this, remember no. this party? I almost fell up the steps. It was at Anderson Cooper's house. Oh, those were good times. They were good, good times. times. I was so glad everybody was cool and nobody talked. No, everybody <laughs> was really cool. And Liam Neeson was there. Oh, I'll never forget so how he hot. smelled and how tall he was. Oh, he's so hot. Yes. I just want him to rescue me. <laughs> like he did in Schindler's List. <laughs> well... Thanks for everything. Sorry for being so weird yesterday. 
you know, but I've been laughing and crying at the same time for a long time. Hi, Dean! And Dean suspenders? Wendy. Yeah, and headphones. Yeah, I see. <laughs> very, very official looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I did go home and I had um, spinach. And I stopped at the grocery store and I got me a nice slab of liver. Do you like liver? Oh my God, I love liver. I love chicken liver, liver worse, calves liver, whatever. But I'm talking about, I made it liver, like liver and onions, the way we ate it when we were kids, you know, liver and onions. Put it on the grill, I love it. My husband and son don't like liver, so I had the whole steak for me. I'm gonna get my iron. I'm gonna get back to stop feeling dizzy and weird. And I didn't um, get my blood work, but I still intend on doing that. Uh, probably in the next 48 hours. Just to make sure everything is good. But I feel wonderful today. And on that note, I'm going back in here. I have to be back out on the floor to work on a project uh, in about 10 minutes. And then I have a little meeting after that. And then I'm going back to Jersey. Don't you hate when people do that? I know. <laughs> I love you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you next time. I have such a heartburn. I my heart has been burning since the double doors opened, and by that point, it was too late to get an antacid. <sighs> Harry, please, Willie. Did you touch him with your hands? I just opened it. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Brendan. I was going to ask you for one in the middle of the show. I wasn't even talking to you. You were obviously eavesdropping. I have my ear on the prize. Rutabaga. Rutabaga. <laughs> it is fun to work here. I read when you say that. It's not Pepto. Whatever it is. <laughs> Honey, by the time I walk to John, my heartburn will be over. Enjoy your lunch, Wendy. How? Thank you, John. I will enjoy my lunch. You enjoy your lunch as well, John. Thank you, John. Mm-hmm. And now that my... Sorry. There's another stash. Don't take hers. Really? Yes. No, boo. <laughs> Come to me. The Jolly Ranch has been there for a long time. You can have it. Okay. You're taking the old yeah, the crappy stuff. So stay on. <laughs> exactly, Joni. What's going on? <laughs> Woo! My heartburn is done, and I'm ready to have something with to lots of hot sauce. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> to start it back up. Mmm. Kill it now. Start it up again. I'm gonna have a salad. And I want to have um, red cabbage base and spinach and some kale. I think there's only one place to go and get it, and that's the same place where I get the sandwich. You know the place, Ro. Toasties. Also, I would like to have tuna fish. Not the tuna fish that's flaky for dieters, but the one for fatzos. The oh, ones that they, they already mix up with the mayo. That's Ooh. right. Slap it. And to accompany my salad, I would like to have cucumbers. <laughs> um, cucumbers. Um, Red onion? Oh, yes, please. Double. Peppers? Well, I have your peppers, so I don't like to be charged for so many. Bye, you guys. No, because if I ask for them, then they keep charging for toppings. I got my toppings. Um, watch your set, watch your Carrots. Um, Welcome to fall. So we're gonna do we're gonna add to it every day. For Christmas we're gonna do a whole routine. <laughs> I like your ankles. You like my thin ankles? Yes. I Michael can... Lee, everybody, <laughs> is our he I is our um <laughs> <laughs> what do you call him? He's our art director. And I gotta tell you something, when you see Genius. Christmas look brilliant, when you see Halloween, when you see us do our game shows, when you see, uh, that, that's Michael Lee, that's Michael Lee. You know, he adorns the stage for fashion shows. If it's fall, then he's got leaves out there. I was about to tell you that um, 
145. I read your comments. This is Enjoy lunch. It, thank you. Welcome. This is a fun place to work. The in, best. My, in my th Thank oh. you, Brandon. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Tristan, you nodded? Yep, of course. Mm -hmm. You don't have to just say that just to say it. Trust me. Hey, Ro. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm working here. I have fans. Wait, come on. Here's the thing. It is a fun place to come. Admittedly so. There are some days that I just don't want to get out of bed. But, you know, and don't, tell them, don't be cheap with the tuna fish. Okay. You know. So salad, red cabbage, spinach, kale base. Tuna salad on top, cucumbers, red onions, double order, carrots. A single order of onions. I forgot we have a second show to do. I don't want to be having bad breath when Chloe comes. I've never met her before, you know. You get the bad breath on our third meeting. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trust me. Oh, yeah. Oil and vinegar. On it or on the side? No, on it. Ask him to shake it in there. And then I'll add more vinegar. Anything else? And hot peppers. You well, you know what? Uh, you know what? If they, if they by chance make salmon, can they put salmon in the salad as well? Um, It'll just be a fish party. Oh, I'm doing. Well no, uh, uh, Roberta, the salmon. I know how you like yours burnt. I know. And she's the type to send her food back all the time. I don't play that. I always think somebody's got a gob of spit just waiting for somebody who complains about their food. Um, that, that's going to be it. Okay, so like medium well, medium for the salmon? Bro, just tell them I want salmon and okay. don't complain. Don't have them spitting in my food. <laughs> okay, these are from Lloyd Boston. Oh, my fashion friend. Oh. Anyway, so, you know... Sometimes, admittedly so, I don't feel like getting out of the bed. I hit the alarm five, eight, 25 times. <sighs> then I realize I got the best job in the world and I will myself get out of bed, old lady, <laughs> and get into the city. And they put the makeup on. There's some days I'm like, just give me the wig, let me put it on. I argue with him about what to wear. I just, but as soon as those doors open, I'm on fire. I just love it. I'm like, what are you kidding me? What was I stupid earlier? Please, and an hour later, it's 11.15. If this wasn't double show day, I don't have any meetings. I'd be on my way home. Like a housewife. I'm, I'm a housewife who happens to go someplace fun every day, and then I come back home. I mean, it also helps to have a really competent staff of people, you know, that you trust. So you don't have to stand over their shoulders breathing on them, micromanaging them and criticizing. <laughs> I mean, I criticize, I guess, but it's usually, um, I don't know. We work together, is what I say. Like if I don't like something, I always say, tell me why I should like this. You know, I give you a chance, you convince me why I should like this. Very rarely do I just say, hell no. Believe it or not. I used to be more of a hell knower though, uh, years ago. But I think as you get older and as you get comfortable with yourself and as you get comfortable with not having to, you know, control every damn thing, I think the hell no kind of, I think I started to become more um, open to suggestion after Kevin was born. That's the great thing about kids, you know. Like I was saying during Hot Topics, they. They change your life. They change your life in ways that, you know, it's not just your body or your boobs will never be the same, but that your, your way of thinking will never be the same. I don't know that I was a fan of today's dress. I mean, I know I've had it before and everything. How does it look? You like, do you like it? It's not as... This is the one you had for a few seasons, right? This is the purple one? What color does it look like? Purple, yeah. Is it the one that's in those photos? That they... I don't know. Your headshots? I don't know. All I'm saying is that, <laughs> you know, we were just talking about Snatch the other day. I, I, I'm not a particular fan of ruching, just because ruching should happen once you start to get a pot belly. You know, for me, I told you, growing up, you know, I like everything now. Snatched! Until it unsnatches. But I guess it's okay.
Everything doesn't have to be snatched all the time. She says as she lies. Is my nose growing? <laughs> I thought TLC was awesome. Not a word that I use a lot, but it's the word that fits. I was so incredibly comfortable talking to Chili and to t -Boz. And little mama I had met years ago when she first came out and she had the lip glosses poppin' song and um, my husband gave this big Dons and Divas junior party, junior, you know, for the kids here in the city of the Copacabana. And it was a crazy sick party and little mama um, performed. Yeah. And Mims, remember Mims? This is why I'm, this is why I'm, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. Ow. Um, but I thought that the TLC movie, and I'm, and I'm not kidding. The movie is a 10. Like, I don't know what you look for in your entertainment. For me, first of all, I like it on, on TV so I don't have to leave the house. You know, I'm allergic to being outside. <laughs> um, the casting was brilliant. I mean, Cockroach from The Cosby Show plays L.A. Reid. You don't even recognize Cockroach. The lady who played Pebbles was perfect. I mean, I don't know Pebbles, but you know, she's a high yellow black woman with slinky hair. So they got that. I think the girl who played her might, might be wearing a wig. You know Pebbles mostly from Mercedes Boy. Do you wanna ride in my Mercedes? Remember that song? Well, anyway, um, then she went on to marry L.A. and then they were the people behind TLC. And if you saw VH1 behind the music, it was when Left Eye was still married, they really went in a lot on how they got ripped off. And in behind the music, um, it was actually Left Eye who broke it down. This is how you sell, you know, 100 million records and you go broke. Do you remember that part in there behind the music? So I had a good time um, talking to those girls and Adrian, I mean, you know what to say. You know, her movie opens in theaters this weekend. Um, I'm in love with a church girl. You know, she's co-starring with Ja Rule, who was here earlier in the week. Uh, I met her maybe once when 3LW was together. And then 3LW, her first group broke up, and that's when she went to Cheetah Girls. And then they started making movies and things like that. But, you know, she's a, she's a nice girl and, you know, she was a hell of a date. She had on a tight, every legere dress, boobs out, pow, 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 all that packed into like three feet tall. <laughs> and I, I do wish them well with their talk show. I, I got a chance here in New York that their uh, talk show played over the summer and, and I check it out and, you know, I found it very entertaining. And uh, I tweeted the girls, so I'm glad Adrian, you know, got the tweet. I tweeted them, I said, kick, you know, you rock. I, like, I'm not a hater. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a hater. I used to be, but weren't we all? And some of you reading now still are. I am not a hater, I'm a congr congratulator. <sighs> Which feels good. It feels good. And it comes in time. You know, I didn't, I didn't always have such a saintly, godlike heart. <laughs> well, my salad will be here in about 10 minutes. And I don't want to eat it with my clothes and my wig. So I got to put on my robe and snatch myself bald. Put on my street wig. Did they have the salmon? No salmon, no kale. No kale? It's, it, that's fine. Okay, I told them to make it large and make it within the red cabbage and spinach. Look, tell them to put the beans in. Beans chick, chick peas, chick, chickpeas and kidney beans. Okay. <laughs> so I won't have bad breath for Chloe, but I'll just be farting on her. <laughs> You're funny too, thank you. Thank you again for letting me be me. You know I love that. And I love you for watching. See you next time. When I threw my arms up, I couldn't believe it. At the end of the show, when I went like this, I, I was just caught up in the rapture of, hiya, Marilyn. Marilyn is my 
my lighting gal. Hello. She's one of the best in the business and one of the few women who are in charge of the lights. No photo? She's a legend. Yes, she is a legend. Why aren't we taking a photo? Oh, bye, Wendy! I know. Bye, Suzanne. Have a rotten weekend. I'll make you happy Monday. Just playing. I just got caught up in the moment. You know, I told you, when I get out there, forget about it. I'm in my own little world until I get, come back in, now I'm back down to earth. I threw my hands up just out of, they were showing. Let's see, do it one more time. Uh, the, uh, there's a little something, but oh, not a little. Bit. Yeah, I mean, it was you, not noticeable. Please, you remember how it used to be. Mm -hmm. I've come a long way. Yes. Um, I get caught up in the moment, like when we come back from commercials. You know, when we come back from commercials, Doug, my floor manager, he says. Um, you know, all right, everybody, and he counts down, you know, five, four, three, two, and it's really very exciting every single day. He counts down, and he's like, all right, show your love for Wendy. And it's different to hear show your love, but when he says show your love for Wendy, I just get caught, oh my God, come on. Wait, hold on, come on, come on, man. Oh, uh, no, shut up. I'm not letting anything out. I'm going to hold it in. But until you, until you feel like, show your love for Wendy. Best feeling ever. So I got caught up for a moment and I was turning around, giving love back. And then we came back from commercial. Show your love for Show you. Love. Yeah. For the Rutabaga. <laughs> Ooh. I had a good salad. Salad was so good. Right before the show. See you later, Have a great oh, weekend, boss. Bye. You can tell great it's already sweet. starting. I'm already taking off my makeup. <laughs> Please. Be good. Here. The shoes are the bee's knees. Let's show the after show. I just love these. Yeah, those are good. Here. Have a good weekend, young man. Oh, it's hot in here. Oh, oh. And seriously wounded in the struggle. I'm not going to sit and talk to you, but I won't kick you out right now. But you've got to then just don't get me caught up in conversation. I got to focus on what I'm doing, which is getting out of here. Kevin has a math tutor tonight, and um, he has it, you know, every, <clears throat> well, you know, this is Thursday, and we just did, finished Friday's show, and so he has math tutor every Thursday evening, and um, <clears throat> while he's at math tutor, I'm going to go to the grocery store. You know I go to the grocery store like two or three times a week? I already told you that. I like I like the grocery store. What's not to like? There's food, condiments. <laughs> What'd you think about Chloe? Did you like her? I liked her. I liked her a whole lot. She's cute, you know? She's she's cute. She's got a one-of-a-kind lip and a really sparkly personality. I I really liked her. It's her time. She's on the cover of those um, magazines. I mean, Seventeen Magazine was it when I was 16 years old. That and Cosmo, and Chloe's on the cover. And she was here with her mother, very supportive mother. I like word, words with friends. 
also at the game. The girls were so competitive and cute. That lady from, um, huh, that lady from Ask Wendy's in trouble. Hi, Wendy, <laughs> my name is Wanda and I'm from Philly. Um, so I've been with this guy for five and a half years. Uh -huh. And he's the greatest. He's sweet, he's cute, he's handsome. Uh -huh. um, he does everything for me and we've been talking marriage. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have a problem. Uh-oh. The sex isn't good. The sex isn't good. Oh! What should I do? Oh my gosh. How, you can't get on, t no matter how bad your man is in bed, or great he is in bed, because that has the other effect. You get on TV and you say that, all of a sudden all the hookers you're friends with want to get with him. But she got on TV and said her man's bad in bed. That's not good. I mean, you can't just say anything on TV. Who are you talking about? I'm talking about you. <laughs> I don't say just anything. I, I, I know what's off limits. I mean, I know it seems like I just get out there and fly by the seat of my pants, but I've been a professional broadcaster for, for all of my life, all of my life. I started broadcasting radio when I was 18 years old, you know, when I just started college. And you couldn't curse on the college radio station, you know, and you certainly, you know, wouldn't talk about, you know, you know your campus romances and, you know, the tea. I didn't start spilling the tea until many years later on the radio, you know, about hot topics and everything. But, you know, I've... Um, I've never cursed on the radio. I curse like a sailor in real life. I don't curse around my parents. You know? Sometimes cursing is very, very necessary. Uh, but I guess as a, as a trained broadcaster, that's never anything that I've slipped up with. Never. Um, and regarding saying that your man is bad in bed, back to that, there are certain things that should be off limits. You know, and the people around you either set the boundaries by telling you or you just innately know. Like, she's been with him for five years. How do you put up with bad sex for five years? And you haven't, you know, I blame this, I blame her. But in general, you know, if you're with somebody and they're, they're not giving you, you know, they're not pleasing you in bed, you know, sex is not the end all and be all, but it's a very important part of the connection of two, of two people. And if you're with somebody who's bad in bed, you know, once, twice, five times, okay. You know, after 10 times, um, when you do something more than 10 times, that's what you call a habit. It's like when I was on Broadway, um, my, my dad said to me when I finished my run, he said, well, you know, you are a Broadway veteran. I said, no, Daddy, I'm not a Broadway veteran. You're not a veteran until you do something at least 10 times. And I'm not talking about the same show 10 times. I'm talking, you know, you're a Broadway veteran. I forgot where I heard that, but it stuck in my mind. And that makes sense to me, you know? She should have talked to him about the sex a long time ago. And my thought is, and I don't think she quite understood this, when she goes back to Philly, there might not be a relationship. What do you think? You think, I mean, Tristan? Oh, yeah, she, she should have said something earlier. I gotta find a man. I gotta ask somebody, where is Pam, where are these guys? Where is everybody? There's nobody around? Hey. Franklin's over there. Franklin? Franklin. Tape off. Let me ask Franklin. Hey. Wait. Wait, no, I hear somebody. I, I really do have to ask somebody about this. I really am, um... Brendan, is that you? Okay. Come on. Brendan, no, let me ask you something. No, seriously. Okay. I was talking with the after show family about, um, about the woman who talked about her man being bad in bed. Uh -huh. And I was just oh. saying in general, like when you say something like that in public, right. even if you don't mean malice in your heart, doesn't that torpedo the whole relationship? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. There is no Why even say that on television? Why share that? Isn't that private? Yeah. Don't you want that to be private? Don't you want everyone to think? That everything's good? Yeah. Oh, God.
Poor kid. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad for her. her. How are you? Are you okay? Yes, Brendan. Everything is not a breakdown. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's why I love you. I hate crying around him. Or you. We care about you. I don't care. Yeah, she cares. Uh, well, I am, a, I am a crier. I am not a screamer. So, I guess goodbye, I Doug. I, I'm fine. You sure? Yeah. I love you, Wendy Williams. I love it when you say, show your love for Wendy. They love to love you. Oh, baby. As soon as somebody sees you cry, all you get all day is, are you okay? Are you okay? Those were, those were happy tears. Oh, that poor lady. I can't wait to show you my Halloween costume. You have to go. My car is going to be here in 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't win Dancing with the Stars. First, I got to get walking down before I get dancing down. I love you for watching. Have a good weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello. Hello. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, how you doing? I had a nice time today for a Monday. It's going to be maybe 60 degrees here today. By the end of the week, I think we're gonna feel fall. Then it's really hard. I think the clocks change in the next two weeks also. It's gonna be so hard to get out of bed for a Monday. This is pretty good though. felt like such a fat slob today. You don't understand. I, I threw down. I never even got a plate. Like when I was telling you that I made oxtails mm -hmm. and everything at the house. I never even got a plate of food. I'm like literally just dipping in the pot and pulling the lamb chop off the grill. Before you knew it, I had eaten more food yesterday than I have in one sitting in a really long time. I felt so bad about myself. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to eat until after Halloween on account of my costume. I take it off here with some wipes. And then I just put on a little serum. I've gone through this with you before. Oops. And then when I get home, I wash my face formally and even better. I have a meeting right after this. <clears throat> I might put a little bit of makeup on, but not much. If you want to see me with makeup, watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> I like Laz Alonzo. I swear every time I tell you I love you for watching, I mean it. I mean it from the bottom of my heart because I cannot figure out what you want to see on TV. Um, I like the show Deception. I think they only aired like five episodes. They didn't air all 13 because otherwise it'd still be playing right now. And then this morning we woke up to find out in the TV world that um, Ironside was canceled. That's with our friend Blair Underwood. Three episodes. Three episodes on TV. I don't know what you like for TV, but I'm grateful that you like me. Or do you just tolerate me? <laughs> okay. Um, here's my entire ensemble for today. I really did like this skirt. This is new for the season. Um, actually, this is one that's actually in uh, the ads and everything for Diane von Furstenberg. It's a size six. What I like about it is that it's party in the front and business in the back. <laughs> it cuts a nice curve when you lean on one hip, you know? The way she's, the way, see how it's cut round at the hip? 
it just, it's just, it's very flattering um, on most figures. And then, I mean, you know, center part. He did a really good job with this wig. I felt very comfortable. But what I wanted to talk with you about is um, the blouse. The blouse is a 38 double D by In Style. It's written like the magazine, In Style, because this is In Style Essentials. It's made with a, a different technology where the blouse itself is stretchy, but the most important thing for a large-breasted girl, this is so genius, mine is a 38 double D, you know, a 38 double D, and these blouses are sized to your breast, which is genius. And I have all 38 double Ds. Would you like to see a few of them? Right over here, here's another one with the mandarin collar and the two buttons. What I love, and then here's another one. And I'm gonna show you what I love about this. This is $59. Um, this is called the classic button down front. If your breasts are larger and you suffer with that gap in between and you're tired of that double-sided tape that doesn't hold our girls in, you know, I don't know who they're kidding. If you'll notice the buttoning, it's single all the way down to the breast area. This is the area that we need our containment. And there's double buttons. And then the rest of it is singular buttoned all the way down. I have to tell you, this is just so genius. And I felt very comfortable. It's very difficult for a woman of a particular size to find a decent blouse, you know. And, and then I topped everything off with um, my spikes. My spiky, anyway, blacky spikies. So I felt very comfortable for Monday, you know? Haley Duff is a nice girl. She's really nice. And what I love is that, you know, it's almost like um, it's illegal to eat pork or any kind of meat in Hollywood. Do you notice that more and more celebrities that you follow, whether it's on the blogs or in magazines, and they, they suggest how they lost weight, some of them include, at the most, chicken or fish. They very rarely say that they eat beef. They never say that they eat pork. And everything is just like, you know, what they call clean food. And I, and I get it. And I, you know, I understand that. But sometimes I feel like just a real fat ass for actually wanting to have some ham. I mean, at home, I don't feel like that because we all eat the same way. But when I am here, you know, we're doing celebrity cooking, it's like, okay, here comes more guacamole and the tofu substitute because it takes on all the flavors around it and, you know, bean sprouts and, you know, and that, that's nice eating also, but it was just nice to talk to a bona fide person from Hollywood who bona fidely eats like the rest of us. <laughs> And I ha must say that each thing on the table, I am going to try. You know, I get a lot of recipes from this show, you know? I mean, I was just telling you during Hot Topics that I made crescent rolls to accompany my oxtails last night. But I should, you know what I should have done? I should have used the rest of the crescent rolls and made some of those um, apple things. My family doesn't eat like that all the time, but when we do eat like that, it just feels good. Like nothing beats loving from the oven. And I just love to sit back and watch them throw down. And how cute was that egg pita thing? I mean, that is very obvious. That's nothing more than a breakfast sandwich, except with the pita, everything doesn't fall out of it. We make breakfast sandwiches all the time. I don't know why I never thought of using a small wheat pita. And how genius was that waffle thing? First, I have to buy a waffle iron. I don't like a lot of kitchen gadgets. I feel as though they collect dust. I feel as though if I want to make waffles, I'll be honest with you, the waffles that I make at home are always the frozen waffles. And the pancakes that I make at home, which I just made some pancakes this weekend um, for little Kevin and his friend, um, I always make pancakes on the weekend. Not always, but it, like two weekends out of the four per month, I make them. But I make the add water and shake and then put them on the griddle. That's as good as homemade, you know? You could even take those and put the cheese and the bacon inside the pour and shaker. Although there's something hearty about a waffle. Anyway, I just enjoyed the food that she made. And I brunch to me is my favorite meal um, of the day. It's not breakfast, it's not lunch, and it's not dinner. What I like about brunch is that brunch encompasses every single food that you want from 24 hours on the clock. If you want salmon, you can have that at brunch. If you want fruit, you can have that at brunch. If you want ham, you can have that at, like it's all brunch. I love a good brunch. 
So on that note, I have to go. <laughs> we'll have more time together, maybe tomorrow or something. All right? I love you for watching today. I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, going to go, everybody. Exodus from Sam and the Memphis Rock All Show Law. He's back there. He's like, he's tricky, everybody. I thought I was going to hate it. And I literally did not even give an argument about the clothing today. I was just like, just put me in something. I want one piece. I don't want to have to tuck and argue about a blouse. And this is what he put me in. He gave me a choice of two sweater dresses. This one is from Lord & Taylor. I looked at the price tag, $198. Cynthia Steffi. Cynthia Steffi, but you will have this dress for the rest of your life. It's not color blocking, it's not flowers, it's not, this is classic. Like, and I can't believe that my breasts did not look gigantic. I, How did my breasts look? They look, <laughs> I love the way she asked them. No, they look great. Well, I can tell you why. Because it kind of camouflages. No, because I don't have on one of those boulder holders that you get me here for the show. I have on my own bra because, because be nothing's going to be showing through. I love wearing my own bra. Doesn't it look like I have a reduction? Oh, hurry up. I mean, oops. I don't I mean hurry up. I mean. <laughs> They'll catch it. She beats us. <laughs> Look, um, I don't know what I want to eat, bro. But if you meet me around um, on the other side, I'll decide by then. Usually Brendan's pretty good at talking me up in something. What are you going to eat? Oh, you're going to go across the street? Uh, I don't think so. You don't think so. <laughs> it's breakfast. For lunch. Remember, it was breakfast? I already had breakfast. <sighs> <sighs> I could eat eggs morning, noon, and night. <laughs> I, really? You and I have Two the same taste because uh, I think it's the best thing ever. Uh, Yes, we're eggs. Like we're having like breakfast for lunch. M Megan McCain is so cute. Isn't she cute? She's not all like political, shoving it down your throat. I bet you she's fun to hang out with. Everything doesn't have to be about politics. There are no arguments. You know, um, she likes. Um, go ahead. She uh, lives in here downtown in Manhattan. I had no idea she lived here. You always ask me why I don't wear necklaces. I wear necklaces in real life sometimes. You know, I, I like a little, you know, delicate something or another. Um, uh, and I, I like pearl, you know, I like that. The reason why I don't wear them is because she says that they make noise on the microphone. He says they make noise. All right, well, he does. They work in tandem. You don't see him. He's back there listening to the microphone and, my, and half my conversations. But, you know, oh, please. I love bangles also. You notice I always wear just one strong cuff or something like that. Believe me. Believe me you. The microphones are very, very sensitive. I pile I mean, I don't have a pile today, but normally I pile it up over here, but I always have to be uh, careful that by that when I pile them, that they, they're piled high enough so they're not slinking. So that's why I don't wear necklaces. Hmm, what's this? We're doing a doggy fashion show. So it's what is the this? set dresses. He made a dog catcher. A dog truck. catcher. Rutabaga. Oh my gosh. Rutabaga. Rutabaga. Coming through. It's me. <laughs> Rutabaga. Tasha Smith's the kind of girl that I would love to go out on a Saturday night, on a girl's night out, have our drinks and have a good time. She's really nice. Enjoy lunch. Thank you. I don't know what I'm going to get yet. A Cubana. What is that? A Cubana. Press sandwich. Oh, no, no. no. Too, no, 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 no. Too much butter. I got to be ready for my Halloween costume. Okay, fair enough. I hope Tuna. It's, is my... Mm -mm, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. My endocrinologist uh, uh, changed my dosage on my thyroid medicine. I didn't share that with you. But my endocrinologist says that my thyroid is, is wonky. He told me that like three weeks ago. All I could focus on was that he told me I weighed 171 pounds. I was so happy. I was a thyroid schmyroid. But the fact is, is that he upped my dosage. And I think I know why. So I'm self-diagnosing right now. And I had the conversation with him um, of my, you know, daily pills. He upped the dosage. But you know why? Summer was very good to me regarding seafood. I ate salmon virtually every day I was on Broadway. Um, I had crab leg Fridays at the house with just me. My guys don't like crab legs. I fling open the back door, spread out the newspaper, and turn on, you know, the view or something, you know, on TV, and throw it down. You know, there's a lot of mercury in fish. And if you have a thyroid problem, that, that's what messes with it. So, um, I'm going to wait like a month and a half on my new pills, and then I'm going to get my levels checked again. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Well, we have to come up to this class.
I like your um jumpsuit. Tell the read or you really like it. Tell the truth. I mean, I I do. You know, not everybody can wear a jumpsuit. I wear the hell out of a jumpsuit. I love a jumpsuit. It's so working at the car wash. Yeah. Yeah. To get enough money to get your kids back, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I said I'm getting fresh out of prison, realness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he really is. So <laughs> now. If you saw him walking down the street, number one, you would never think that he was gay, would you? What, yo, what up, Ma? Act like you're talking to Berta. <laughs> right? <laughs> and you definitely not Just think that he head. is an Emmy Award winning wigologist. I'm saying that. He has to pretend to be my boyfriend one day. I'm saying that. When he first came here, I didn't know what he was. All I knew was that I don't like men in my dressing area, except for you, Tristan. Uh, I don't like men. Um, in my dressing area, it's too feminine in here. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like other than, you know, Tristan, you know, or my husband or something like that, there's a lot of, um, and I don't, I don't strip down. Like I'm not like, uh, you know, the models, they walk around in their underwear. No, these okay, boys don't see all that. Yeah. However, when he started working here and we were in the old studio. So, you know, you remember how it was set up? Remember from the after show? And he just sat there. He just sat there with his muscles. I'm getting the door. Hold on. What? Yes. What? Hi. Hey, Antoine? Hey, 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 yes, he's putting on his mascara. Antoine. Uh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> Antoine. Come on, girl. Girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. got your number. Cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> By nickname. Anyway, he was just so manly. I... Still manly. I... Mm-mm. I was like, I don't know that I like... This man in here with us, maybe he needs to take my wigs and go to the other room because he's giving too much masculine energy, the muscles and the whole bit. I just, ugh. So finally I just asked him. I was like, what's your deal? If you want to stay here five more minutes, tell me you're gay. And he said, I'm gay. I was like, okay, you can stay. <laughs> 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 and he's been here ever since. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to eat for lunch. I honestly, I have those oxtails. I bought Morel the rest of my oxtails. I'm done. I'm done. You know, oxtails are made of beef. Too much beef will stop your heart. I had oxtails while I was cooking them on Sat on Sunday. And then I had leftover oxtails last night watching, um, Dancing with the Stars. That's enough. So no beef, no fish. What am I gonna eat? I don't know. You know, that wig, um, I forgot to address our breast cancer survivor's wig yesterday. Uh, it's called Paige. And I can tell you that that one is my 100% synthetic wigs. And Paige, um, you know, he did a survivor the other week and you guys comments were you know that the wig was shiny Well, you know what? He didn't spray it with sea salt. I guess he didn't have any. That's the trick It's real easy to take the shine out of a page retails for $89 Here's what I look like in page <laughs> It comes in all the colors it retails for $89 though. It's hundred percent synthetic and um, you put some sea salt on your synthetic wigs takes the shine out and makes them look nice and human. I've enjoyed doing those um, Survivor makeovers yesterday. I mean, this month. We have one more, and that's tomorrow. I only have a limited time for lunch before the producers are coming in here to brief me for the next show. So if you don't mind, I'm going to um, ask you to get out. <laughs> I'm joking with you. Hey, I wanted to show you something. You know Martine is a big deal. Don't, do you know that? Have you heard of Martine? Tristan, mm -hmm. have you? Yeah. Even before this painting? Yes. You know, um, Martine does all the artwork for Patricia Fields, um, along with other stuff. See how this girl looks like that? This is um, like a caricature of me that he did many years ago when I was on the radio. Look, see? I feel so honored to have that. I remember when I got it. I, I've had this now for... Gee, eight years when I got it. I used to hang it in my office in, at the radio station where my office was bright pink and it was like a clubhouse. 
I can't believe Jenna Jameson. I'm, I'm so, um, she's surrounded by scum. People who care about one another don't push people out on stage like that, you know? And that's one of the pitfalls of, um, of this particular business in entertainment. If you don't know who you are going in, if you aren't surrounded by at least one good person, one, it will chew you up and spit you out. When I went to that woman's house, it was a gorgeous mansion-esque, well-appointed home, beautiful pool and outdoor living space. Jenna's made untold millions in the porn industry. Now she's gotten both of her twins taken away and her house is in foreclosure. And she's promoting a book. And she didn't go to Good Day New York by herself. When you promote a book, you have your book publicist, your manager might be there, but you have at least one person. That would be the book publicist. All people care about is making money. The art of caring about people is gone. I'm glad I know who I am. Do you know who you are? I don't know what I'm going to eat, but I know who I am. <laughs> anyway, um, we have a second show to do, so I'll speak to you later. I love you for watching. Bye. Everybody loved my sweater. They loved my sweater. When I told them Coles, they gagged. I mean, they gagged. Yeah. I have another one, too. It says Paris across. It's Catherine Melandrino. It's her affordable line at, uh, at Coles. I don't know about the skirt. The skirt feels like it might be cashmere or something. Is this Tracy Reese? Yeah. I like the Halloween costumes. I, li I like the Halloween costumes, and I like that there are um, that there are options for a full family. You don't really think about that, you know. That Duck Dynasty thing was cute. They were, they were all cute. And Janae's Kim Kardashian. That was a good one as well. Um, I haven't seen Mike, Jer Mike Jarek in so long. You know, Mike is on Good Day Philadelphia, but he uh, used to have a talk show called Mike and Juliet. Juliet Huddy, his partner from the talk show, is now an anchor woman here in New York on Fox. And Mike is doing really well in Philly. And I've known him for years. Um, and Allie Wentworth, who I just love. She was in the running to be one of the girls on the View panel. It's still not too late because Barbara Walters is going to be leaving. I, I think that Allie is... She, I just think she's smart, and she's funny, and um, that was my first time meeting Aisha. And uh, I, she's smart also. She uh, is an anchor woman, you know, on CNN. And uh, the accent, of course, is very memsor. <laughs> um, as soon as we get to the office, I'm going home. Do you know how many times I get in the shower, uh, Joni, and there's always tape on me? Like, I'm, I'm always, yes, I'm always finding tricks. <laughs> I was doing this project yesterday. You know how they were turning my mic on and off with a remote? I felt like, you know, yeah. Why don't you do that? How come you have to flick it from the back? I don't have that system. You don't have what? That system. You don't have that system. Type of microphone they were using. Yeah. I, have them. I did something for, um, for the ID channel, I told you that. Did you get my picture? Mm -hmm. Instagram. Yeah, I love the ID channel. Mm. I watch the ID channel at least six hours every weekend. My husband and my son think I've lost my mind. You know, like I'm warped. I'm like, I'm not warped, I just wanna know what to do just in case. Do you know what's on Saturday nights now? What? New episodes of Cops. 
on Spike TV, all new ones start this Saturday. Cops is back. Spike. I can't watch Spike though. Me neither, but I like Cops. No, it's not that I can't watch it. It's like you watching We, Women's Entertainment. It's, there's something about- I'm a very about, open man. I'm not that open. I don't Me even neither. like it. I don't even like it that um, Esquire, you know, Style Network is no longer around. It's Esquire. Oh, is that what it is? Esquire is a man's magazine. Right, right. But they run eight hour marathons of Sex in the City. I don't like Sex in the City on a guy's channel. Yeah. That's weird. Do you I understand? Do. I do. You know what I'm saying. Do you understand why I can't watch cops on Spike? Yeah, I get it. I'll tape it for you. Have <laughs> a great weekend, everyone. Take care, brush your hair. Oh, take care, brush your hair. I like your socks. Thank you. You're welcome. Is my special treat in a special place getting something special done to the sleeve? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love when he laughs. He puts his hand over his mouth. Look how shy my Willie is. Is my special treat in a special place? Getting something special done? I don't laugh and cover my mouth. I know. I just asked you a question. You already got the answer from him. I didn't hear you. Yeah, he said it under the, t the tickle. Oh. <laughs> tickle me Elmo. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh. it's, yeah, it's upstairs. I like your glasses. Getting treated. Um, <laughs> you like your outfit. That's good. I really do. Well, the girls in the audience, they, they love this sweater. How much was that sweater? Is that cheap and cheerful? Cheap and cheerful. Look, here's the other one. Oops, oh, sorry. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but this jacket, I didn't show you what this jacket looks like now. I'm just going to, yes, you know what? Just cute. This is another Catherine Molandrino from Kohl's. You gotta jump on this stuff before all the girls buy all your sizes. Come here, I'll show you. I'll model it for you. <laughs> Ro, you said my car's gonna be here at 3.30? Yep. Oh, okay. Right? Cute. No, it's not leather. It's, sh it's shiny satin, but it's got all the things of the season, the moto thing, and also I love the quilting. I, I love the quilting. And it slightly cuts in to make a girlish figure. Cheap and cheerful, just the way we like it. What are you boys doing for the weekend? I'm doing a shoot for <laughs> Nylon Magazine. Oh, I like Nylon Magazine. Well, actually guy, guy, well, Nylon Guys. I'm shooting the rapper Future. Future. Oh, uh, Sierra's boyfriend. Yes, I know. Yes. Tell him I said hello. I, <laughs> I told you what. And the girl, Aisha, I was trying to tell you, she's from Sierra Leone. The girl Is she? Met, yeah. And she speaks Creole. Oh. She's fantastic. Were you guys speaking yeah, the language I, right I there? asked her. I, was, I, I thought she just <laughs> spoke the way she spoke. <laughs> 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 yes, we don't speak that in our language, in our country. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 Let's leave him a la bone. Did you boo speak a bee dabi? Didn't you watch Zuboom when you were young bugger? You didn't learn how to do this? Look, abum tabai yabur. You boo habaf to boo gabo. City? City haba ibi zibit ibit ibis? You a yeah, yeah, yeah. What about I'm on I cannot do it. I buy love of you boo. For 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 for